I hear the bag. Yeah, I get it in with the Roach Clip Podcast. Arthur Phillips sound waves through your broadcast. So much smoke in this bitch, catch a contact. Dutchy Arizona, yeah, I smoked the whole pack. Cannabis, cactus, t-shirts, and a dope mag. If you didn't catch the last episode, that's your bad. They say it's my turn, so I conjure something clever. Like I'm just trying to get our songs on content of the pressure. So cook up the beat, hit the studio, and I chef. Roach Clip Radio Show on KDIS. Now, the flower, that's just the way I'm doing. Break it down and put a lighter to a blazy tube, so they don't even ask. Know that we are high grade, homegrown Arizona. Go and check out our page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys better make sure you guys check out that page. Check out Homegrown Arizona. You're tuned in to Roach Clip Podcast. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? It's good to be back. It is good to be back. I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful evening, wonderful afternoon, wonderful morning, wonderful day, wonderful life. Man, when life grabs you by the balls, kick it in the nuts. You know, you never know what you're going to get. That's right. Rochambeau. Mm. Is That's what, what my get. mama once Slide said. Box, fight, dirty, fight dirty back. You get a game of Rochambeau. Exactly. This is your first time listening to the Roach Clip Podcast. We are the podcast that sends positive energy to our fans, family, and friends. That's the three Fs. Mm. So don't get it twisted, tangled, or anything of the above, you know. Right. Sitting to my left, rolling blunts, we got. You already know. Broly in the building, burpees or shots. Mr. Burpees Twisting up a little shots. bit of lumbrecita right now. I like that. What kind of lumbrecita are you, what are you twisting on right now, Broly? This is some uh, pre-98 Bubba. Bubba. Some pre- smell this, man? Bubba. Yeah, Bubba. Very earthy yeah, and gassy, too. Gassy. A little bit of jet fuel in there. Who the, who we, who's the growers? Uh, shout out Transparent. Mm, that's like a nice Oh, that's some terps? Yeah, that's some terpy. <laughs> that's some Transparent. No, I got that stuffy nose, so. Where can people but reach you, like Brody? Yeah, where can people reach you at, Brody? You can write. Uh, uh, you can write. Only got. Ooh, you can write, write me at, at my home at uh, <laughs> <laughs> sixty nine thirty two. And I'm just playing. Uh, Pim pals. You can just hit me up on the snap. You know, Roach Clip Brody. I don't have any other uh, media, but That's you can also you hit me up on the Instagram on the uh, Roach Clip Podcast. So yeah, and he yeah. creeps all the media, just so don't think it. he won't see it if you just throw something it. on Instagram. Or <laughs> yeah, don't go. get scared. You get the message. Yeah, just I'll address just it to Brody. Have you oh, sent a message or a comment? Address Brody to it, and he'll respond. Oh, on yeah. IG. Or any of, these, any of these fellows right now. Yeah. Hell yeah. He knows. No, anybody, yeah. That's what's Man, up. Shank. fresh out on Ooh, Bell. Fresh out of jail. Yeah. California yeah. dreaming. Who do we got? As he steps on the scene, he's hearing yeah. Hooch is screaming. screaming. Man, Miguelito's back. What's up? Tell him what's up, homie. Oh, man. It's, um, <clears throat> I've been institutionalized. <laughs> it's, uh, thing, you know, it all changes when you get, <laughs> when you go through it and get some skin in the game, you know, so. <laughs> Federal agents don't mess around. Customs agents don't mess around. And as far as they see it, CBD is THC. So that's where we stand right now in places like Texas. And now we've seen it firsthand. And we'll see how the lab reports come back. But, you know, Fuego and everybody else just got secret shopped by uh, <laughs> by, the <laughs> by the feds, old, by the good old Homeland Security and <laughs> Texas DPS. So By the good old Lord. It's serious. Himself. We're laughing and we're going to have some fun tonight. But, yeah, it's a serious. No, it's deal, serious. So. Everything seems like fun and games, but. Andy said it wouldn't always be this way. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, dude, like like people like fucking Forrest, Forrest Gump's mama said, life is like, like a box of chocolates. Oh, I thought you, you were going to say. You know the Mandela? Mandela? Dan, ice cream. <laughs> What's that called? The Dan, Mandela? Dan, Dan, nah. like ice cream. The Mandela nah, nah. effect? Yeah, dude, I experienced yeah. it on a porn. I'll Whoa, talk to you. I'll talk, I'll, talk to you. I'll talk about it after this guy introduces himself. The man with the deep voice. It's me, Alto, Letter yeah. Fanatic on Instagram. Hit me up for graphic design needs. Don't and bring your mom around him. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do like that. Like a mature. Don't take her to the club. <laughs> He'll talk his way into her. He might oh, end up yeah. making out with her. I'll roll up He'll in there like Barry White. <laughs> Have yourself a new stepdad and a brother coming soon. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So Letter Fanatic on Instagram. And That's then we got the new. Oh. Hey, dude, since you've been gone, this fool's been rolling blunts. Every that. episode, Look too. The new Blunt Master oh, General. Been coming mm. through. Who do we got? Got King J on the mic, you know. Hell yeah. Da, na, na. Da, na, na. Da, na, na. The hottest Ooh. news anchor in the game. Where can people reach you, Essay? Uh, everything King J. Instagram? Yeah. Twitter? Instagram, King J. I don't have Twitter. Oh, then why'd you say everything? Yeah. KingJ.com. Don't lie to the people. KingJ.com. 
you know? Is there a King J dot com? False information. Is there? There should be. There could be. There, you better get you on, better get on daddy now. before one of your fans beats you to it. <laughs> and then they're going to slang it to you for a couple of G's. So and that's it. That's cool. You could have it. Shout out to everybody. We should man. do that and snatch up a gang of cool sounding website names. Straight up. For people to want to buy them. There's people yeah, that do that. You got one of the few gifts that didn't get confiscated. So that, Ooh, that bag takis. of Takis is, yep, you're is lucky, good to go. Bro. That's so clean. Takis. Is yeah. that from Spain? Yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, I got those. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, so they're foreign. Them all, yeah. That's some foreign Takis. Foreign. They probably thought they were for your son. They're Takis, Hamon flavor. Well, they looked through all our cookies. They stole our ham. They took. Uh, do they have hamon flavored chips? They do. That's actually Ooh. the biggest flavor of chips. Yeah, there hamon. Be. hamon yeah. yeah, this is pretty funny. Hamon. It says hamon too, like J- like Jamon. Mm-hmm. Jamon. But there's there's this is Jamon, Jamon guy. The Iber the Iberico. <laughs> there's the hamon, and then there's like hamon York, which is like so these takis. The York ham is just regular ham, like York, like our ham. Yeah. So not only do they have ham flavored chips, they have different ham flavors of chips. Do they have Canadian bacon over there, or do they just call it ham? They just hamon. Um, they call that something different. Yeah. Something different. Yeah. Where at? In Canada? In Spain. In Spain. Oh, in, in do they Canada have they just bacon? call it ham. It's just ham. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah I was like, like, you guys remember Canadian bacon? Remember that movie Canadian bacon? They they're do. defending they the Canadian border. <laughs> nah, there's a movie called There's a movie called Canadian Bacon. Oh what? With uh, John Candy, what Uncle Buck. I never I watched that. Played Uncle Buck. I watched Uncle Buck. That same actor. Yeah. He he stars in the Canadian Bacon, What's and it's like a bunch of drunks fighting to defend the Canadian border. Spy- or like a spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert. Way too early. Uh, yeah, it's an old one. That's it's a old good movie. One. I, know, oh, I, was, I just fucking around. Like that. That's spoiler like, alert from the seventies. I was like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> a little, I remember no, when I, I saw that. Somebody's having like fuck. No, but yeah. the, sorry, if you haven't watched the movie, and I just spoiled <laughs> it for you. But yeah, I mean, a nineteen seventies flicker. That'll tell you in the brief description when you look up the movie that exactly what I just said. So, but nah, it's a it's a cool, it's a funny one. It's old school. How long were you? Uh, how long were you in the pinta for? Oh. How long did you spend in there? Like twenty four hours or one stretch? It, it was a uh, no. It was two days. But, oh, you um, did like forty eight hours almost. Yeah, almost. Like Nicholas Cage because oh, yeah, it's twenty four hours. Just the, right? the processing took about twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. Like Nick just, Nolte, I mean. Oh man, it's a nightmare. Because they had you in a holding cell for twenty four hours too. Huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. in Tarrant County, in Fort Worth, where everybody was coming in with all kinds of things. Man, I met some real characters in there real quick. So that's, but then you go upstairs and you get assigned, you know, to your actual cell and your pod and uh, issued, you know, your clothes, like what you're going to get a little cup. And, um, I was only up there for another like, um, 12 hours or 15 hours. And then I got to go home like right before bedtime, which is good. Yeah. If it had got to 9 PM or whatever, I'd already been locked in the room (laughs) with all the other dudes Mm. with all the other biceps Yeah, till 9 AM or whatever. That sucks. They shut it down at like. 10 was it like p.m. all split up between races and all that? So, the one I was in was really friendly. And um, you were at the Toys R Us or what? Is it? <laughs> no, but I, c- I could see how a lot <laughs> was of there people a giraffe in there have problems with each other. But you're in the you're in a room with like you know thirty forty other dudes or twenty thirty other dudes. I don't know exactly how many, but they did show you how to use a book as a as a vest. Mm-mm. Nah. Not in two days. I think that comes, days. Later, <laughs> that comes later, dog. That comes later. You got to put in some work. Yeah, once, you see the, once you get that first riot alert. <laughs> All right, homie. But uh, I met, yeah, I saw some interesting characters. They'd already, you know, oh, been yeah. in there five, six years. Some got out and then right back in. Some are so comfortable so, with it, huh? Yeah. The just, holding cell that they had. They could only in. be out a couple months. Does it have a restroom in there? It does if you want to, like, oh. you got to shit in front of, right, in front of, yeah, in front of yeah. everybody. Is it one of those doubled ones including with the water all fountain on top of it? Including all the guards yeah. that are out, yeah. outside so of nasty. your, your, uh, your so holding nasty. cell, dude. That's like, fucked up, huh? But I didn't have a choice. I had already been on a plane for 12 hours coming from Madrid, Spain. Oh, you they did nice a naked too, didn't they? And, well, yeah, you have to get naked. Before yeah. you got into your holding cell? But, um, <laughs> That's crazy how they do that. I, wonder I hate that. that. I, wonder I was about to ask that, too. Spread your cheeks and lift your sack. Yeah, bro, I All they have to do is process people. To get federal funding for inmates in their state, I wonder mm. if that you know, like, because in oh, LA yeah, they process you and you're out. You're right. helping the economy. So it's like I wonder if the that's Dallas something economy. that they're doing to get federal funding is through. Uh, it feels good to be smoking yeah. again. Like, but I, no, you're right. And now that I think about that, hopefully that's good news to actually prosecuting me because if they really want to take this thing all the way and say that my CBD has THC in it, that's what put me over the legal limit. 
Otherwise, I just had a few uh, baked bros items. So if these lab reports come back and I have less than a gram, meaning less than a thousand milligrams, Street. that's great. You know what I mean? But it's it's pretty close. Oh, so a thousand yeah. milligrams equals one gram in in the concentrate. Yeah, and they're saying if you have less than that, that it's not as big of a deal as if you have more than that in the different Goodbye. charges Goodbye. and stuff. So. Goodbye. Either Dude, way, I either way nothing to mess with. But just so you know, if you're buying CBD and you're traveling with CBD. Be you should know that that's um, looked at as hash oil because uh, they say it has traces of THC, which means to them that's hash oil. Yeah, that's the only word they, they could know. be lying. You know? Was, was that your first time ever in the in jail? In, yeah, in that was my first time anywhere close to besides visiting my friends in jail. Oh you shit! I mean? <laughs> that white yeah. privilege went right out the window. Huh? White privilege was I'm like, like, oh shit, you're what just the like fuck? you're gone right so fast, and hey, the guys in jail were laughing like, like, about damn, it, now so. this is what Thor was talking <laughs> about. You you know know like, that's why he's always paranoid. Yeah. Well, all the lying, uh, the federal agents, they start off with, um, first of all, I come in honestly and say, hey, I'm a patient. I have my medicine, which was not a good idea. Should have never offered mm-hmm. that information. And again, see, I'm talking right now and we're live. We're on the podcast. I'm, you know, I don't have anything to hide. So that happened. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's probably just going to be a fine. We can see this is just your personal stuff. And this is Texas. There's a zero tolerance policy. So the first guy who came to talk to me was Homeland Security. And this guy was like straight off the TV shows, oh, balls to man. the wall, serious. The bad cop. Was it a table and then you <laughs> just you oh, and yeah, him? Oh yeah, me and him. Yeah, talking. Look at here, mother. Talking fraud. Talking. Do you mail? Do you mail cannabis to Spain? You know, they you know I just know, came I love from Madrid, so. And they start sucking him off. <laughs> 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 Turn into a porno. Turn but into uh, a porno. I passed his That's inspection. Good porn right and there. they um. They'll love that. He declined <laughs> to film a porn with me or to prosecute. So. It's like the only thing I'm is this so he decl- <laughs> how, long were, how long did he interview you for till, he, till they declined? That was a, that was a pretty quick um, interview. Yeah. That was and then how long did it take for them to de- uh, decline to prosecute you? Did, they, did he was all right, let me go talk to my fucking Yeah, it was pretty boss. quick. Yeah, like he came out and looked everything over. I have no prior history or record or interest to them, so... He declined. But and you it, look like Justin Bieber got lost in the woods. I mean, what else does he want? Yeah, uh, pretty much. I mean, I was at that point, I was freaking out because I saw how serious it was. And I just kept telling him, that's my medicine, you know. And um, but I know that doesn't matter. You're not supposed to be traveling with it. But they were caught up on the CBD. Uh, you know, that was the big deal, because to them, it looked like a large amount of hash oil. So. Oh, so that they, they made a big the biggest deal about the CBD. Yeah, because it's a controlled substance. So I mean, pretty that's much, a fel- that's a straight felony. You so know? pretty much now, flour is considered fucking. <laughs> yeah, flour. Pussy shit, yeah, marijuana games. is not exactly. That's you a know? misdemeanor unless you have pounds and you're yeah, looking you to do something. It's like having a firecracker once with you. Once you start extracting, yeah. that's a controlled substance. Exactly. Which is dumb. You got to manufacture it. And I know you do, but it's still dumb because uh, it's still just pure THC. The end result. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still just a plant. So if you have a, it's like making banana juice and like getting fucking thrown to jail for like extracting the banana juice. Does banana have juice? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know. Bananas are cool, dude. Yeah, you just juice. can't be making banana oh. juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, you can't be extracting all that orange juice off that orange. Come on, son. That's illegal. Eat it the way it is. Let me test. That's a hundred percent orange. What the fuck are you thinking, Miguelito? <laughs> this is too That's, terpy. That There's is zero what they high to fructose corn syrup in here. Essay. Right. They wanted to say and shout out Dutchies. You know, um, you know, I had a few Dutchies on me. No big deal. Hey, go join our GoFundMe to packs. cover all his. Legal, legal fees. We got the GoFundMe. Yeah, they love the Dutchie um, packaging. They wanted to look at everything and laugh about yeah, it. And w- w- the guys w- were w- um, talking about drinking after work. These agents, while they're going through my stuff and talking about how serious hash oil was. Let's go drink and like, drive. Oh, man, I'm going to buy you beers tonight. And the other guy says, no, you know I like the hard stuff, meaning liquor. Yeah. Cops are notorious. I was like, oh, you guys are funny, man. Y'all are funny. You're, you're messing with me and my medicine that's. That I rely on, and, and if you know what you think, it's legal. It doesn't get me impaired like yeah, alcohol. And I'm just passing through. I'm just going back to Phoenix. You know, I've known three cops in my life, like a lot, like close, and they've all fucking drinking and drove in home, and they admit to me that if they get pulled over, nothing will happen to them. They oh, yeah. tell me that, bro. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, they got their badge and they're, they're like, I know these, community. Is- I know these cops first fucking hand. I've known a few for like 10, 20 years, bro. The, the and they bo- and they all tell me the same. I've chilled with them and watched them go home shit face. We're like, I don't even drive home 
I'll make like fucking my lady drive or something, bro. Can't have a bunch of cops getting pulled over drunk on the news and shit. Nothing will happen. That's why people are they won't make the news. <laughs> when have you heard DUIs for cops on the news? That's what I'm saying. Like cops, hiding. never. Unless They're the cops, hiding. unless the cops running around naked unless and it's too jacking much. off yeah, and like shit. It's too much, yeah, like I was gonna fuck. say unless you're just being extra like, and some you fucked yeah, up. Yeah, over the top. Like, <laughs> like Howard Stern, bro. He would tell he would tell his fucking audience that he has the card, bro. A cop sent to him every year. Where you get pulled over and you just show it to them. In New York, I guess. I don't know if it's still true, but this was maybe 90s. I'm sure they got that kind of shit. Each stuff. cop gets like five of these cards that they could hand out to they whoever. They give them to their families mainly. Yep. Yeah, the families. They, yeah, they still have that. I know yep. what you're talking about. So like you could be mm-hmm. doing minor shit, which is like they consider DUIs minor. Some people do tokens. Some states do tokens or cities. So you just show them this shit, bro, and they're all right, cool. Go home, motherfucker. That's like people that used to put like those bumper stickers. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. These yeah. these words don't. Re- nah. They look out for their <laughs> just own. Just like Fuck that whole that story shit, that I just told, allegedly. It's like I'm senators that hire, you know, give <laughs> no. state contracts to their friends, companies, and shit. Like you know, right. it's not like official, but but it's official. We're knowing that shit's <laughs> going down. Hey, bro. Hey. So I know it's recent, dog, but how how like has it changed your life already? You know what I mean? Do you think of everything different now when yeah. you go out? When you yeah, I got scared instantly, man. Being in like being in that holding place and not being able to call anybody. Since you're in a strange place, it wasn't my hometown, and you can only call. So you can make these 20 second calls out, but only to local 817 numbers in Fort Worth. Who am I gonna call? <laughs> so man, I got so. Call Jerry Jones. That's it. Come on, dog. Oh man, no kidding. I should have called Jerry. Told him to send Tony Romo over. Good old Jerry. Oh, Tony Romo would have blew the whole staff, and you. You know what I mean? You already be fucking. <laughs> You'd be punting for the Cowboys right now, dog. <laughs> I was going to say, I ended up signing a deal. <laughs> no, but luckily Cowboy. one of the cats in there, and his name, coincidentally enough, talking about the NFL, is Ricky Williams. And uh, so shout out Ricky Williams, man, wherever you're sitting tight tonight, man. Oh, the real stay Ricky warm, Williams? Stay the, warm on that floor. Ricky Williams. He had a real pot hair. And shout out, you know, everybody in Tarrant County who's just good, some good people that get caught up in crazy things. No, that's true, dog. You know, but uh, this cat just got out in December – and, you know, they're tailing him for he just does an illegal U-turn and they he gets blurped and he decides he's going to kick one, you know, right out the car. So he had already hit a parked car and he probably already hit a gate and he stops the car and he puts his hazard lights on. So now, of course, the police can see right where his car is because he puts his hazards on, takes off running to jump over the gate that he just hit with his car. And um, the gate collapses because he just hit it with his car. <laughs> So he goes over the top of that right onto the ground and uh, gets arrested right there. But he's all muddy and everything. So he's sitting there laughing about it. And life is still just, you know, it's not, can't take oh, yourself too seriously. Inside, uh. And I'm sitting there thinking, what am I going to do? So he goes and picks up the phone, dials out. And uh, he already has a Securus account. His family's already set up. So he gets his mom on the line or his auntie and says, auntie, I got this guy here who's not from here and he needs help. He's stuck in here. And um, she gets her cell phone and she puts a call out to my mom and uh, and my friend. Um, well, my brother, she put out like three or four calls, you know, basically. Nice. Had people start coming through for me, had that bail processed and got the process started. But nice. that was when I was starting to panic is when I couldn't dial out. And that's oh, the yeah. first time where I thought, man, this is for real. And these people aren't about to bring me like a private phone and a list of phone numbers, you know. Oh. I don't give a fuck. So that that right there. And then, I mean, the food they give you is obviously, I don't know where our tax dollars go, but it's not going to feed anybody, that's for sure. Oh, hell no. Oh. Yeah, because it was, obviously those guys live off of whatever commissary money they have and eat out of that little store because the food they give you is like nothing you've ever yeah. seen in the grocery store. Yeah. Even the housing, like a lot of these jails are like run down. They have mold. Yeah, so I had, a, yeah, I had a, I mean, this is Roach Clip Podcast. I got to tell all the guys about it because there was a, Big ass cockroach. Fuck yeah, that's us right there. Eating my sandwich. That's right me. when I decided I had hey, to have dude. some bites of this sandwich, that cockroach jumped up on there and said, I need some bites too. I told you I'll be there oh, for you, Carnalito. Yeah. That's me, dog. And they all, they, so a lot of them got grossed out like little girls. You know, nah, like, this is a road to the podcast. This was like, this is a like, sign oh. right here. And I was like, no, that's our shit. I wish I could take a picture, you know? Yeah, that would have been Hell cool. yeah. So we had some good, we had some good laughs and. It was fun to see. Some of those cats have already seen us on YouTube. Some of them said, man, I'm, I'm going to listen as soon as I get, you know, 
either iPad privileges, which they have there, or when I get out. Dope. And yes. uh, so that was cool. They they knew us from uh, Moon Rocks and some of our sponsors, you know, following our sponsors and Sick. stuff on Instagram. So that was pretty cool when I said Cannabis Cactus, and they were like, oh, dude, you guys do this with Moon Rocks or whatever. Right. So there goes Moon Rocks. What do you think about now uh, traveling with uh, – with, uh, yeah, I wouldn't advise it. I wouldn't advise anyone to go anywhere with their cannabis or <laughs> CBD products. You might think, hey, it's just a little bit of flour. It's no big deal. But they're gunning for that right now. It's not the same. They're homie. Trying to and set, uh, yeah. the, C- the CBD, until you know the laws are clear, I wouldn't mess with it because they were able to say on the spot that my CBD had traces of THC. And that that's true. I mean, which makes it hash oil. And they, they also said that they don't believe in CBD because... It's all THC. And so I didn't go there. There was no point in arguing. Yeah, which was crazy. Just yeah. so you know, that's who's on the other side of this. Yeah, know? it was crazy because this will, um, the dog smelled this Darwin. He uh, told legend. me. So that shit was crazy. I crazy threw it right into the trash. Yeah, right room, after bro. that, bro, mm-hmm. they let him go because he told me he had the candies or whatever. Right. But was crazy. I telling you the whole time, dude? I'm, I thought I threw that shit away yeah. already, bro. I was like, I was so mad at myself yeah. for still having it in my luggage. I thought about you guys in Miami where you had to collect your bags yeah. and do that. And that's, ooh, that's scary because Miami's a port yeah. port of entry. The port of Miami. We went to go visit with our bags. Port, si- port yeah, city. Constantly you know? looking there. So a lot more scrutiny, I'm sure, comes through there. Hey, you know what's funny? The dude in Spain, the, uh, the whatever, the TSA, their version of it, mm-hmm. are they considered TSA too? I don't know what they, they call it. No, it's, different. yeah, but Yeah, because you don't have, to take, you'd have yeah. to take your shoes off there, I say. I noticed that, yeah, the shoes were cool. Yeah. But I mean, this we were wearing uh, that cannabis cactus hoodie, mm-hmm. and the, when, right before they swapped, swapped us for the bombs. He goes, hey, can we, if I swab your sweater, is it going to turn colors? <laughs> and I started laughing. I'm like, I don't know. You should try. <laughs> but like Joe, like they were joking too, obviously, because I wouldn't right. I would not joke back. You, you know how serious I am, bro. Like, no. I'm scared. And especially when you're in a foreign country, you don't mess with any police or any. It's not joke time or take picture time or anything. None you're of that, bro. Foreign country dealing with their As soon as you get off either. the airport, dude, it says no pictures or video allowed in here. In yeah. their airport. I'm glad what? you noticed that. Yeah. In their airport. You can't be like over here, bro. Just hey, I'm on my way in. I told this for I'm Which, like, hey, bro. That's how I said that, that. was I the first thing right we were in doing. my pocket. Uh, right? Yeah, I might, I'm pretty sure a lot of people still do it, but mm-hmm. to me, like any little thing that could get me in big trouble, it's not worth it for me because you're a tourist. And yeah, if I had thought I had any inkling of getting in trouble, I would have. I had plenty of opportunity to throw all that away. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> caught me or came to me. I went to the dog and waved. Dude, we told hey, you a bunch. Of, I mean, we told you a bunch of times to, to just leave it there with your brother. Yeah, it's funny, right? I might just leave it there, dog. Well, Fuck that's it. what um, you don't need that shit. You're in a, once you go to America, you'll be in America. Well, that that's true, but um, this was just beast. I just though, didn't. Huh? Yeah, and I just you've didn't, been doing it so much. It's allegedly that it's allegedly, allegedly it's secondhand yeah, nature you know to have hand. my medicine with me and exactly. and to get searched with it i have no problem showing anybody i just didn't realize i was going through customs you were just so and comfortable what a difference huh? that was now even just, though my brother told me <laughs> now just think about several times now like know? now act like you're one of us for now on bro like straight up like you're a mexican dog because yeah, I got walk in with a flannel shirt today and because total, <laughs> total, total life change. <laughs> no, because because weed automatically puts a fucking target on you now. Yeah, because these fools know they know, bro. It's That's on true. the verge of becoming hundred percent federal, mm. federally legal. It's a cash grab right at the end. Right now they're like at the end of like fuck, we're gonna be done, dude. We can't be putting these fools in prisons pretty soon. Pretty soon they'll be traveling with this like a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Get as much as as many of them as we can. You know what I mean? Now. As long as your luggage ain't full of fucking bricks, it's like for pounds. you. Right. You know, you got a couple fucking joints in there. You got fucking whatever, dude. Why? Yeah. Why am I going to risk my life trying to find weed in a foreign country? That's what I thought too. If anybody ever asks why would you travel with it, because they asked me. I said, if I thought you guys were going to be so serious, I could have thrown all this away. And they said, well, why didn't you? And I said, because it's my medicine. Why would I waste it? I paid for it. You know what I mean? So obviously my mindset is now in a different place and I forgot I don't live in the real world anymore. You know, so that was my welcome back to the real world. And it's something my brother's warned me about. You know, he said this this is the next thing that's going to happen. And then I walked right into it just thinking I was invincible. And no, I thought about you you right away when the dog sniffed me. I told Eric, dude. I'm like, dude, this was Miguelito's bag, dude. They would have pulled us to the side already. Mm-hmm. I should have told them after, like, we cleared from, from customs and shit. So other it, people in line with me, the guy in front of me had a sack as well. 
and he was from Denver. So I heard the conversation, which was, hey, we know it's legal in 49 out of 50 states, basically, but it's not legal here. <laughs> they took it from him, and I don't know what they issued him. I'm sh- it'll just fall off to him having to pay a, some sort of ticket. <laughs> but either way, that was a quick process, and that made me think, okay, no big deal, you know? Yeah. And uh, then they asked me, hey, do you have anything in your bag that the dog would smell? And I was like, well, I have ham on. and also medical marijuana. And they're like, oh, really? Where is it at? I was you like, should have kept it at ham for at mm-hmm. least till you get caught. Yeah, I should have <laughs> just gone with the ham. No, but you got to be straightforward, too. You know? But oh, also, I thought if they find d- it later, it would be worse. Exactly. Well, it's going to show in court. So, yeah, same thing. Like, they took the weed. They were really the impressed um, <clears throat> with the packaging, obviously. So, it was two oh. packs, you know, so seven grams. So, that was the easy part. But then it was, what is this? And I was like, that's CBD. And they were like, oh, no, this is hash oil. And <laughs> they basically test it in this little baggie where if their thing turns blue in their yeah, solution, it's then it's instantly weed. So they were instantly on me. You know, this is a big deal. Who you? What are you doing with all of this? I was like, all of what? One's for the morning, one's for at night. You know, it's a, one's 2,000 milligrams, one's only like 500 milligrams in the whole bottle. Um, so... That's right there where it got serious and where I realized. Were these tinctures or or dabs? No, they were both. Well, it was an assortment. Two of them were tinctures, uh, life patent. And one was our our homeboys, uh, Fuego CBD. And it was the one they said definitely, you know, they were concerned about because it looks like dabs. Yeah. You know, and um, they tested it, said it had THC in it. So whatever traces of THC they're going off of, we all know we smoke it all the time. We you don't get high. Use it in a number of ways, and none of us get high from that. So, you know, we'll see what the actual test results come back. But that's what I was looking at as far as being serious. So those are actually separate charges. The fact that I had flour is its own little, you know, misdemeanor. And then the other is a controlled substance, whether it's CBD or not, you know. So that's where it gets serious, yeah. That's so wild, though, over CBD. <clears throat> That's lame, dog. And there's really no technicality to the case, you know. Any attorney I talk to just says, hey, it depends on which court we draw, which judge we draw, and if they have any sympathy towards this or not. Mm, the hookups. And then just try the to, with. you just try to, you know, allegedly plea it down, you know. No, well, that's, dude, I'm telling you, what when I said earlier that you're helping Dallas economy, you are. Because mm-hmm. now you got to hire a lawyer. Boom. That lawyer is going to pay taxes. That's mm-hmm. true. When I now you got to hire. Mm-hmm. Not the high, now you got to pay, pay court a fees penalty. For over there? Court mm-hmm. fees plus the penalty on top mm-hmm. of the court fees. You're talking thousands and thousands of dollars now. Fucking times that by whatever, dude. Hundreds of people. All that the people have to do that the were coming thing. through there. Yeah. That's not true. just through there. Even just driving by that get caught with the grandma. See, wacky. That's what I mean. Just that night, the people who were being brought in for this, that and the other. I mean, that place was. A revolving door. It was just business was popping, you know. Dude, it's a war, man. That's how they all are. So that's how they all and are some across people, the nation right now. Some people belonged there. There was some, you know. Remember, a guy walked Scots? in and they well, they say, "Hey, what did you do? What did you do?" And uh-huh. a few of the answers were, "I split a guy's head open." You know, what? I split a man's head open with a baseball bat. You know, this guy says, like "Actually, crazy people." Yeah, he's like, yeah. "Well, he pulled a knife on me," and he's like, "I went at him with a baseball bat till he wasn't moving," and I'm standing there like two feet from this guy. And now we're going to lay on the concrete floor next to each other and use our shoes as a pillow, you know. So tensions get high when it gets hot. But it, since it was freezing cold, we were all just trying to stay warm. But I could tell if it gets hot in there, it gets restless fast. Yeah. I and bet. you don't want to be in there with the guy who splits heads open. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, when you're just there but, for allegedly having something that has THC in it. Right. Yeah. I was like, nah, I didn't even commit a crime. You got me in here with real criminals. But yeah, that when they class something as a felony like that, they break you off with those kinds of people. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I know. Felons are just with felons. It I know a few people that have gone in and came out done. worse. Exactly. They've gone in for like little marijuana stuff and came out worse. Well, yeah, think about yeah. it. Yeah, it's scary. If I had to live in there, exactly. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't mm-hmm. imagine what it does to a, to a man or a woman to go in there. And uh, when you say you got to adapt, it's instant. No, you know, yeah, my brain gotta. was instantly computing. Yeah. Every, like you have to like, adapt scenario. to like the waking up, yeah. the shower hit? time, when they tell you to eat. What was broken, what that. didn't work. That's not a lie. Like, who's are going to hit you up and test you right away, man? So. Who's that have been there for a while, you know, and they're bored. But and they want, they know, wanted like, to hear stories. Oh, One yeah. Once you're long term. Yeah, you're going to get tested right off the motherfucker. Right off the bag, dude. Right off the bat, motherfuckers aren't going to fucking One of the stories was... 
the first thing that happened when I walked in was the four guys in the middle had a good poker tournament going. So I walked up and I was like, hey, I love to play poker. And they saw my tattoos and stuff. And they were like, oh, you, you must play poker. Have you played in the real world? And I was like, yeah, I played on the you know WPT no, tour. I've played WWE. WSOP. Yeah. <laughs> So they wanted to talk about WSOP poker, you know, World Series of Poker and just what it would be like to play in the real world. And they were sitting there playing, you know, Omaha, Texas Hold'em, and <clears throat> basically had their system of cards, but the, the cards that were torn in half um, were fives, and the cards that were torn into fourths were ones, mm -hmm. and that was the chips, and they were sitting there just playing mm -hmm. tournament poker. Yeah, that's how they do it. Playing it's, cash yeah. game poker, like serious. And then the, the guys would break off, and two of the guys were in my bunk, and... They're like, I think these other two guys are playing together. He's like, but that doesn't mean we can play together too. So if you're out, I'll stay in. If you're in, I'll get out. You know, we won't play against each other. And all this little strategy and stuff. But that's the life they're living in there. And that's all they had to look forward to mm -hmm. after this shift change where you have yeah. to go in your room was to come back out and get back on the poker table, wait for Transformers to come on at 630. They had their day all mapped out. Um, like daycare, Wag. basically. Yeah, because you Wag. do the same shit every day, dude. Yeah, that's tough. So, yeah, it's frustrating. It's like daycare for grown ups. For if grown you're not people. trusted, if you're not a trustee, which I got instant privileges to be a trustee, probably as a first time nonviolent offender. So you're getting three days to one on your sentence. Yeah. If you're not, you're only getting two days to one. And if they have a problem with you, you're just getting one day for every yeah. one day served. And yeah. that's those are some long days. But I remember the first couple of times I got out of county, I I went straight to the skate park. How many times have you been boards. to county? I walked uh, to Taco two Bell. Two times to county, uh, about like what? In four or five holding cells. How long ago was your stint? Not long, man. The first time a day was or two? a week, and then the second oh, time was a like a time. week and a half. Like, how, a how's that, half. though? Like, to be there for I a week? I was in a bunk, in a dorm. So, it's like, you walk in, and you get off the bus, and it looks like a bus station, man. And then I think the most impactful thing for me was when those doors first open, and that smell comes out. And it's like thousands of musty dudes in there. Mm -hmm. and you can smell it. And it's like, oh, man, I'll never forget mm -hmm. it. Just being incarcerated like, there is one thing. But yeah. imagine having to work there. Oh, I started man. having sympathy yeah. for every person yeah. I, I saw. I tripped out on all that, know? man. I've, I've gone in like super high, you know. And it was just like I'm just sitting there like, damn, man. You yeah. just sit here and stare at dudes' asses all day. Like, why would you sign up for that? Yeah. I would not sign up for that. I would not be there all day. Like, all right, bend over, cough. Or, you know, I thought all that. It's I, like, that, hey. that went through my mind of how many of the, I was like, this was yeah. not anybody's first choice yeah. dude, I mean, of dude, a job. It was, it was so know? demoralizing oh, to dude, me. Oh, dude, same. When Getting I had processed? Her, when I had her get naked in front oh, of yeah. fucking in everybody, the whole room? bro. Just See, being, I've never been to jail. That part didn't bother me a bit. I'm dude, shameless. Over nah, 18? It's not that. It's just demoralizing. The first like, time? Yeah, that's true. Get the, naked right now. The first that's time true. I went to. You're going to tell me, go fuck yourself. No, let's all, all you guys, get naked right now. How fast? See, you're right, and I didn't uh, right think had zero choice, homie, zero choice. The too. first time, the how first symbolic time I went that in, is, though. They had this homeless dude didn't want to get, he didn't want to strip down. He was all drunk, sir. He was talking mad shit, and then the guard was like, "If I come back and he ain't there, you guys gotta wait two, you guys gotta wait two whole rooms for t to clear before you get into the showers." Yeah. And that's a long ass time, dude. You'll be sitting there for hours. Yep, and that when yeah. and they mean that. And I then, was with a kid who was like 19 yeah. and was horsing around. So the, and then they, they everyone's punished. Yeah. Now. So the guard yeah. walked away, like handle it, and he was beat this was ass and stripped him, and they put his clothes in his fucking bag for him and shit. He was sitting there butt naked, you know, like beat up. Hey, bro, get Junior in you know? here. And that probably like, got some great fucking jail stories. Yeah. <laughs> no so shit like that was a trip, dude. And then the whole like rules too was a trip for me, man. You know, because I grew up kind of in a segregated neighborhood with like Latinos only rolling with Latinos, you know, and fuck everybody else. But, like, then I got away from it. And with graffiti, there's so much diversity, you know, in the I culture. Was, I was just about to say, it was all about the culture. Yeah. And when you talk about the same kinds of music, that's more what it was, yeah. which then drew me to these people oh, or yeah. those people. There was The room was divided oh, in yeah. different ways, but it was who it was based on interest, like oh, who's yeah. into poker, you know, or whatever. Dude, this, oh, this is how I ended up, you know, sitting at that, that table. At the LA, oh, yeah. In L.A. County, just by race. But you, I could see how a lot of places are still just yeah. straight up like that, you where you approach? stay with like with your race, and yeah. it's going to be old school weird. See, like I've that. never been to jail over eighteen, but I was in uh, the juvenile system. In camp? No, in juvenile. Juvie. Uh, what yeah. they call it, camp over, over there, there in Durango. Yeah. <laughs> Alto. He, yeah. 
Yeah. Camp, call it camp. No yeah. big deal. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was in that before, but everything that you guys went through is the same process yeah. that they do there. You got to get naked, the way you eat, the oh, way you wake it. up, the way you go to sleep. And it's just whack. Right. Like, the whole process. Watching movies and playing fucking yeah. card games Having and somebody poker and shit like that. Yeah, yeah To have this stranger come up to me and be like, who you rolling with? Are you a pick? Are you a Sudeño? Are you a Paisa? Are you, you know, and the you, black? And you're like, huh? And it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Sudeño. You know, I represent Southside and shit. You know, and it's like, all right. And then you're wrong. And this guy's telling me what I can and can't do. Like, oh, you can go in the restroom, but only when Latinos in the restroom. Or, you know, you can't take a shower when anybody else is taking a shower only with Raza. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's totally like, oh, and you can't play games with anybody but Raza. And you can't eat food with anybody but Raza. Now you can hang is, out and talk to people that are not Raza, but you can't like, play games. And sounds like my yeah. first homosexual experience. Not no <laughs> lie, man. And it was a trip. And it was just like... You had a homosexual and then experience? With the Sudenos, no, but it kind of sounds like if I... If with the Sudenos in county, they warn you, like, you got to keep your bunk clean. Everything organized, and you work out two time, three times a day or two times a day, man. Oh, you got to be. Three times a day. And you you're a soldier. Tip-top. You got to be ready. Is this L.A. County? L.A. Gentlemen? County Central Jail, man. man you got to be in jail. tip-top shape. To, uh, uh, and it was like the bunk. And it was like at least like a hundred and something people in there, dude. What? And it's like a gang of like dorm. It's a big-ass dorm with these restrooms. And then the guards sit like at this wall looking down at everybody. That's what I was telling y'all. When somebody fucks up, and people have fucked, when I was there, people fucked up. They get taken to the wall, and they assign like three dudes, and they take you to the wall. Mm-hmm. Whatever race is handling their beef, they go all the way to the back wall, and everybody else gathers in front of them and stares at the TV while the other dudes are beating oh, the shit out this guy. Yeah, I've only yeah. seen that in movies, luckily, yeah, and, and then, I wasn't in there long enough yeah, to have to I make any back, discern any judgment uh, yeah, towards yeah. any of that. But They tell you, don't look back, because you start looking back, then the guards get interested, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, these dudes are squatted Drawing down, beating the shit out yeah. this guy. And it was a trip, man. It was like, damn, this shit is real. Like, this is not like some movie shit. This shit is real. One thing <laughs> I noticed was the ages. The age groups were, we're talking 18 to 80. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know it's I mean? weird. And huh? everything in between. Um, old old dogs scrubbing their laundry, scrubbing uh, their whites. And sh- sh- damn, what would my dad be doing in the beans? Probably rolling cigarettes, right? Uh, Just fucking my pops was in and out, man. Like playing hand, handball, you know. He talks yeah. about like almost joining the Mexican mafia and all that, but he was about to get released, so he just didn't. He didn't do it. Your pops did? Yeah. Oh shit. He has pictures and all that in Mexico, man. Like he was, he was legit, legit, like uh, thirteen from Muertos out there in LA and in and all that. Like one of the founding members. And, it's trippy stuff, man. Like, the whole lifestyle. Like, I would listen to him, dude. And it was like, to me, it didn't seem... My brother Real? Tony was banging. So he, like, idolized <laughs> it. He was like, oh, shit. You my know? Tone dog. And then to me, it was like, man, that shit is whack. Dog. Like, I don't know why, but it sounds so whack. Like, mm-hmm. I love the lingo that you use. And then when, like, Hetty Henry did that to Tolo, he says, oh, man, you got to come out. And he says, oh, no, no, I'm on a... Uh, I'm on a monitor. I'm on a monitoring device. I'm on a monitoring and device. And Tolo messages him back and says, oh, bro, get well soon. Your health comes first. Uh, God, we'll get you back. He may, like he he's on, on some sort of EKG uh, heart yeah, yeah, yeah. machine or something. Yeah, he's like, no, no, no. Like with the police. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. I can't leave my house, <laughs> Legality. Yeah. Yeah. Legal. 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 Oh man, for yeah. some kind of funny thing, but yeah, allegedly yeah. that was funny. I've never experienced house arrest. I've experienced probation. But never house arrest. House arrest sucks ass. Yeah, that's gotta. It's what's gotta. Your, what's your longest stint in the in the joint? The juice. The joint. <laughs> the juice. Like two months. He did two months. He did some the juvie, juvie pre eighteen. Yeah, two yeah. months. That's yeah. a long. That's, just like, that's a long time. Uh, I, you guys probably, you guys were probably there that day that all the cops and everything came to my house. No, my mom told me. They shut down the streets. El loco de enseguida se alocó y madrió a su pinche hermano. I think it's difficult as a teen, man, because you got hormones and everything. No, I got got arrested for my brother. Mm. Because I got in a fight with my brother and he pressed charges. Oh, you beat his ass. Damn. 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 Mm-hmm. Bubba? Yeah, Bubba. Shout mm-hmm. out Bubba for this calling This was all cops. football. <laughs> you were all Dumb. footballed out, huh? Yeah, bro. I was, I was fucking, I was footballed out, bro. I had popped like 12 of them. This guy. Damn. Yeah, dude. That was back you in my, my that, wild dude. days. Yeah, bro. Because I was trying, I was trying yeah, to score like 100 and something points. Yeah. Uh, four touchdowns. Cause one game. Because all I wanted to do, dude, was go to sleep. And he had his little friends over. And I was like, hey, just get out of my room. Let me go to sleep. And the thing that set me off, and he was like, I'm not going to get out of your fucking room until you calm down. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, what? So talking I got, like that so I got up, and I just grabbed him from where my door was and just tossed his ass onto my bed and just started wailing on him. And then the homie came, and uh, he picked me up by my stomach and slammed me on the ground to, like, stop me. 
And I'd have probably um, came in and started stomping him out too. And then, like, my, uh, and then my brother was like, he's like, I'm calling the cops. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I was like, when you do, tell him I'll be in here sleep. Damn. Ooh. Were you? Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> I, I was sleep, and then next thing you know, you know, you like I was sleep, and then I just hear something, like hear like movement in my room. I'm like, what the fuck? And out of nowhere, I just hear, he's down. Get him. Whoa. And the cop grabbed me, dude, and slammed me on my TV and fan Damn. and broke it. Not worth it. And then he put me in handcuffs and everything, dude. And, like, that's when he uh, he had me by the stairs. And I guess they were, like, clearing outside to make sure, like, everybody was, like, not yeah, I didn't it. like when they handcuffed me. I was like, oh, now we're I, doing this? I, I hate when cops use excessive force. I hate when they use excessive force when it's not necessary. When you're, like, cooperating. Always. Bro, Always. I'm all unconscious sleep yeah. and they slam me And you're just ground. like, all right, all right, all right. You know, and they're like, boom, they twist your arm. And it's like, dude, come on, man. They slam you on the head. Yeah, but most of the time it don't even matter because all, all that really matters is the whole tattoos. As soon as they see you yeah. with tattoos, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's a wrap. It's well, even that, out. just skin color too, man. The skin color, they're ready. But, uh, but on top of the tattoos, oh, man, yeah. they start making you look, they, oh, they look ready. at you like a freak. Who's they that? Unmarked. Who's that on the mic? Yeah, is Joker? That mic? Is that Joker? <laughs> is that Joaquin Phoenix? <laughs> little, little, little bit. That's Little Joker. Big Big Joker. Little Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> little, Heath. little Heath. Little Heath Ledger. That's Joey right there. He goes. Talking yeah. about these uh, time, talking about reminiscing about our times in jail, man. You yeah, got any yeah. stories on that, dude? I was going for the talkies. Man, so many, so what, many. What, what's your longest stint? Like at once? I think um, they, I, I, I've done a few uh, 16 with half, the little eight month things, but man. Yeah. Little it, eight months. <laughs> little. <laughs> little, little eight, eight months. Month but once again, it, it it always depends on what county you, lin- you land True. in. And Cali is different. You know how it's segregated by counties? Uh, you go yeah. on Westside. Depends in what county you jail you are in. <laughs> from Wayside to Robert Presley to, to Banning all the way to Theo Lacey everybody wants to go to Wayside for yeah. sure though. that's like Wayside. the cake side and Wayside why? the Twin Towers I don't know why because I didn't go I was in the I was in Central but they mentioned that but a lot but everybody that was there was like oh they Wayside oh it's easy oh that's cake I want to go to Wayside and then it was like oh man these Spanish Wayside? talkies are not as spicy they're not so happens, they're still good though but not as spicy what not. happens in Wayside I want to know well, it, have it, you been to Wayside Nah, I actually haven't. Nah, Have you heard I, about it though? Yeah, it's because they right away they right away call it the Thunderdome. Thunderdome. Yeah. What does this mean? What is this? Thunderdome means man. Lots of fights. Every time somebody like 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 homie was saying uh, gets sent to the wall, all of a sudden all you hear is smacking them up. Yep, and that's because it's the Thunderdome. That's the lightning uh, that's happening inside of the dorm. Somebody uh, getting beat up again. Hey, mm. so what happens to you, bro? Cause like, let's explain to the audience, dude. This fool's like his whole face is covered in tattoos. Is my nephew, my nephew Joker, Junior. aka Jr. Yeah, Junior. You and know that what I mean? Joker comes from the front, like. Oh. But yeah. then he has L. A. on the other That's side. Nice. So yeah. pi- picture where like fucking uh, Gucci Mane has an ice cream cone. This one has a W, mm-hmm. and it looks like the baseball team for like Nationals. You know, what, the That's Nationals. What I was Washington Nationals. Washington yeah. Nationals. Yeah. That's what that is, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought so. It's the Washington Nationals, and then it's an L. A. That like the shit. Dodged out with with the L. A. Together. East Coast, West Coast. Nah, it's West Coast, man. <laughs> Get a little closer to the mic, California. Carnalito. Yeah. Cal- California born, yeah, man. Right. You know. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I got the Washington Nationals on, on one side of my face, the W. And then the Dodgers on the other side. <laughs> yep. The people yeah. ever hit you up, like, you from what? Yup, all day. That's, <laughs> it's either that or Wilmas. And Wilmas, when it's Wilmas, uh, it kind of pisses me off. I used to live in Torrance. Yeah, hey, I'm on the high. I the side and west side, Wilmas. Yo, that's that the high, yeah, man. That's hot. It's hot over there. Yeah, I ran all up and down through through Third Street Foods oh, yeah, uh, over there in, in San Pedro uh, yeah. Rancho Gang. Yeah. <laughs> man. Hell yeah. There's that crew out there, uh, LCF and all them, Triple uh, Seven, BOS. They used to mob up over there and shit. That's crazy. Man, man but hey, let's switch up on this gang talk, man. Yeah. Hey, let's go back to weed. Yeah. Cross my whole neck is weed. Yeah. Smoke my life away and weed. So that's what, true. That's a nice what, piece on your neck. What drives you to get so many tattoos, man? Well, I, I usually been, I, I always try to shoot for a straighter arrow in life, man. I, I didn't always try to be all messed up in life and going through this whole gang life thing. But um, it's good. Like I said, I always knew I, I, I could do it, man. Can't nobody get, come at me with no excuses about life. Yeah. I've been through it. I've done it. I even came up with a damn excuse, but it didn't work. Come on. Man. Can't nobody say, oh, well, no, 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 you can't use that excuse on me, man. I tried it. Yeah. I tried it. If I could do it, if I could do it and get out of it, anybody can, man. Yeah. Fuck anybody. yeah, true shit. 
Hell yeah, I like that. Yeah, man. Anybody. Hey, this guy looks like so, li- li- this fool looks like a mini Broly with tattoos. So on like, yeah. <laughs> so recently, I was trying to turn the camera on the whole time you were saying that. I was like, you, it just got oh, real hey. in here. That was cool though, dude. That's hey. legit. That gave me chills, bro. Uh, same here. Yeah. You are said you visiting from cool. Kelly, or are you recently released? Nah, nah, nah. I'm released and everything, but uh, California no longer has a tail on me. No. <laughs> For all of you that nice. is out there on the streets, you guys know. <laughs> What it means to have a tail. Yeah. It means you got parole, yeah. probation, or paperwork. Something, yeah. something, man. I am clear of California. That's dope. Okay. So Dude, now, let's give him a round of applause yeah. on that's that. Big, that's big stuff. Thank you. you thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Because Joe is a revolving door, man. So now, Joker, now that all that's out the way, man, what are your plans, dude? What well, are your man, plans for Joker? Honestly, like, like, man, if you finally get the camera lo- working and everything the way I look, I'll show you guys how it looked like when I first got out and the way Joker came about. Mm. I look way different, man. I got hair and everything. I'm trying to. Change my life, man. Go on a straighter arrow, man, because that's just a dog chasing his tail. It's always going in a circle, man. Yeah. I'm cool and all that. Being part that's of the nice. system. Yeah, I'm in cool and out, all in that. Out. Time to stop the cyclical nature, nature man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, up my vocabulary and be able to fit in with the society and show these what you know what I mean? If I could do it, anybody could do it. That's Fuck absolutely yeah, right. That's Fuck good. yeah. We that's got your so, back, dog. Yeah, man. And you here. can do it while you while oh, you yeah. sit here and, and smoke this blunt, too. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, what, we're exactly. showing, that's what we're showing people. Because I yes. see that's a big influence for you because you put that across your neck. So That's like yes. the main tattoo right there, dude. Yeah. Yes, and that's because I, I've been an alcoholic for a long time in my life. And alcohol, as much as I love it, even to this day, you know what? That's the devil's nectar, man. That that's just hundred percent. I agree yeah, with that. that. That's just that's just a, a nectar that goes in. Once it's too much, yeah, it's a wrap, man. You gotta balance that shit. Keep yeah, it moderate. Well you liquefy that's your well brain, said. man. Ain't no time for it. It's cool. Yeah, don't man, li- you don't even realize it happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the nobody, people around you will. Yep, nobody has to live their life that fast. Yeah, you and start, alcohol drains it that much faster. You start slurring even when you're not drinking and shit. I like that. Yeah, that shit gets bad, man. Yeah, I w- and I won't let anybody have where it crossed me in the airport when I had the problem with the agents and had my little whatever is um, that having sovereignty over your own consciousness and somebody <laughs> telling you that you can't do this or can't do that. So it's great now. You're out. You allowed to sit there and smoke that blunt. Hell you yeah. don't have to check in with anybody who tell you you can't. Oh, but yeah, when I beautiful. when I realized that was a possibility in my life that that was going to be taken away from me, I was like, "That's something I'm going to fight for until the day I die." Yeah, is cannabis will it. not be on that list? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Access for I'm not, going, I'm not going down for cannabis. Like, <laughs> and neither is any CBD veterans or, or anyone that I come in contact with. I want them to have it on every street corner, have access to that medicine. So, but yeah, I feel you saying that. That's on your neck, and that means a lot because. We drink. I'm sitting here drinking a beer right now, but you're exactly right, man. You got to be careful what roads you go down and what you open up. So yeah. that's well said. Dude, you never know what's going to happen, dude. And the next step, any of us can fucking lose our lives faster than any other fucking mob gangster, that's fucking right. road dog. It doesn't matter who the fuck you are, dude. The universe does not fucking care. You know, I saw a quote that uh, really sticks, bro, and I really liked it. And it, the quote said, um,. When you, when you could, uh, when you, uh, the key to happy, to living a happy life is to, is to accept that you are never fully in control of it. Right. That's true. Yeah, dude. So that, You're like, never in control of it, but. But that's the key to happy life, that you have one, to accept one, that, that things are going to happen, one but you thing, have to get past it, you know? One, one, one beautiful thing I heard Mike Tyson said, dude. He said, back. he said, I'm a luck. <laughs> no, he's like, I'm a lucky <laughs> motherfucker, dude. He's, I believe that everything, all my success is luck. He's, uh, but you got to work hard to get luck. You got to work hard to get luck. Think about that, bro. Mike Tyson, bro. He was king of the world at 18. 18 years old. Won the fucking heavyweight championship I was going to say, world. imagine being eight, 18 years old and, and being, being able, able to, to walk be, into any room and, and nobody know that. will fuck with you. Yeah, and you know that. You, that you, you hit be, harder than anybody. You could beat 100% of the world up. Straight up, fool. Straight up. <laughs> that that's hard to not go. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna come along with a lot of baggage. For yeah. about ten years, Mike Tyson's life, he could beat up the entire world. One, if it was a one to one fight, there's not a person in this world that could have beat him up. Think about that, bro. And he knew that. He knew that eighteen years old beating Did, grown men in fucking thirty seconds, less than a round, two rounds, three rounds. Boy, this whatever's in here, shout out uh, Mojave Cannabis right now. Bro, so like that. 
It's a trip. What I like about what he said, it bro, is. the hard work brings the luck. The mm-hmm. hard work right. brings the luck. The luck doesn't just come of you sitting on bed, bro, well, watching Netflix. It's doing all day. little. It's the little things. Amen. Not you, only that, you do those little things, and it opens the door to big things. Yeah, you, you can't make the big things happen. You they just happen automatically when you just keep practicing the uh, smallest little things you can. Make your bed, pick up the pennies you see uh, on the street. You create your own. Get paradise. every little thing that you can right yeah, in your not, environment. Another quotable like Nas yeah. says, you know, like luxuries and all create, that. And, yeah. and it ain't all material. Dude, shit. Nas is a modern day He's Shakespeare. At, dog. At I don't give a fuck whoever anybody the, says. Uh, at the end of the day, he says, "Dude, your your paradise is in your mind." He's all at the end of the day, like. Ain't no materialistic shit. Like you could be just be an average yeah. guy, man. But you, How's the shit? you got that. Your paradise in your head. No worries. You're you're straight. You know, thinking not doing bad, just doing oh. you. Like doing you create your own man. paradise and you create your own hell. That's good. Tamal, that was well said. Nice. That's true, yeah, that's true. You, you know, know what I mean, yeah. bro? Yeah. I but you got that. a girl that's though. A, you absolutely, got a girl, there, bro. you gotta like yeah. Because nobody could grow for you. Nobody could do my. Everybody 20s? could tell you to do something, do something. You need to do this. You need to do this. But only you could be the one. To I'm do still it. trying to figure yeah. it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. My twenties were a disaster, bro. Your twenties were a disaster. A disaster, dog. Like just. Mm. Same. And you don't realize how your environment changes when you move away from home at whatever age that is, eighteen or sooner or later. But everything changes for you. The way your body does everything. And you have to go through that until you know how to be successful, take care of yourself. I know a lot of people in their early 20s have stomach problems and things like that because you're just learning how to get out and be an adult. And your body's changing, too. You know, Not you're just not a that, kid though. Anymore, I was letting bullshit in your mind, consume my life. It's your first time. You Maybe you Same. felt depression or you start yep. things creep in exactly. for anxiety. That's that midlife crisis. You don't know how to deal with it, so it can just turn into panic attacks. You know? Oh, dude, it happened to me, bro. <clears throat> and it was all because of a girl. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to go I'll see a, a lot of panic attacks. But here's, here's, <laughs> so, but here's what happened though, bro. You're like as soon as I went to go see a fucking doctor about this, a fucking psychiatrist, motherfucker prescribed me pills. Thirty minutes talking to me, bro. Right. I th- I flushed those shit straight down the toilet. Good I'm all, how's this fool gonna give me pills without knowing nothing about me, dog? Right. Thirty minute time. I'm going through nothing. A, at the end of the day, I'm going through a fucking phase that sucks in life. That and doesn't you just mean need, you gotta pump me up with pills, no, dog. Exactly. You just needed someone to tell you that and be real with you. Exactly. He was trying to get you in the system, though. So yep. I would come talk to Brody, and he'll help me more. That was well said, Brody. They're, you just they put you right in the system, yeah, write you down in the book. Let's prescribe you some shit. That, that's keep all. You now you have that's a value. All part of the government. You shit. have a lifetime value on they your They think head. you. They think yeah. they see a weak motherfucker. Like, hey, oh, let's prescribe. Yeah, exactly. And the minute he's weak minded right now, you know. Exactly. Weak minded as fuck right now. The second you start showing anything at all. They say, all right, well, let's destroy his mind more. More. How can more. we do that? Let's pills. prescribe him drugs that are legal. Pills, pills, drugs, pills, pills. Yep. And, and they're supposedly legal, and the whole world looks at him cool. Nah, man. If you need them, that's one thing, that's man. That's exactly what yeah. I was about to say. If you need them, it's one actually, thing, man. That's so Because right. I give it out to the world. Because, hey, you mm. know what? If you could go through, the, through life without weed and wax and... Because let me tell you, man. Aside from alcohol... Wax and weed is some of the, the most beautiful things I've ever experienced on world uh, yeah. in this Come world. On, do you have liquor? Let me get a drink of your liquor. <laughs> okay, so that's well said. It's the irresponsibility of it because I've thought about that. There's people that need those pills, and each one that was invented may have a purpose. But, man, to see the way they're just doled out and he's suddenly uh, on them. That that's well said, man. Yes. So, yeah, shout out to all those people because then they get a bad name. Someone who actually needs yeah. some sort of medication like my now dad. is looked down on like, mm-hmm. oh, well, why don't I you just smoke weed know. or do this or do that? Yeah, it it's not, all that's of not parents, a catch-all. Man. We don't ever want to so say that. So I overcame two addictions you know? in my 20s, which was pills, Vicodin. I loved Vicodin. That's a, that's a good victory spice. right there. Yeah. Spice. Same here with Spice. Spice, yeah. Spice took my life for five years. Dude. Same. Wow, for five years, bro. As big as a pothead, and you, how you guys it's know me now. Like when I was a fucking motherfucker smoking spice, spice in the corner of a room playing video games by my motherfucking self. Yeah, that's you know what scary, I mean? bro. Fuck spice. No I, I, I know how yeah. that goes spice. though, because I've had an addiction too that I've gotten over, dude. You know yeah. what I mean? So when what I started was that, talking, uh, coke. Oh, oh you did coke for like? Bro, you were addicted to that, uh, like and that's two not years. something to mess with. Yeah. Uh, and I used to do a lot, like, dude, every day. Get a little day, closer. Every day, dude, doing just a lot, a lot, a lot with this mm-hmm. white boy I used to know. Just every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. For, like, years, dude. See, and, dog. like, 
That shit so just consumes something me, Something I noticed about weed the last uh, couple weeks of not smoking and traveling and going through this whole thing was how your dose never goes up. After all the years of smoking, I can take a couple hits of the good weed and just, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Well, whatever my medicinal same. benefits are, all happens for me. You're whatever the good. effects are, feeling mm-hmm. high, whatever, all happens for me. Versus like what you're talking about, Coke, where you just want more and more. You just want Suddenly more you have to do more. more. You're more. spending more you're money. Spending well, more. You said it, it all feels dirty from those the chemicals. You did this for years? Yeah, bro, probably like two years. How'd you overcome it? Um, well, I was doing Coke and I was doing pills too, the uh, Zannies. And dude, after a while, um, I got locked up. For when I once I got locked up, dude, and I got out, I was just like. I'm not gonna go what back. What am I doing, dude? Yeah. Like, you know, like what am I? What what the fuck am I doing? Am I like doing all this shit? You know, yeah. like I was like, this is it. Yeah, like, Tamal, I never knew that about you. I'm about you, to dog. be 18. If I turn 18 and I start doing more shit like this, I'm gonna end up dead, or I'm gonna end up in jail, and I'm it's just it's gonna be really crazy, dude. So after that, I like I I went to counseling, dude. Um, I had counseling for it. Uh, I was going to like, well, it was like counseling slash like drug rehab for it. Mm. And after that, dude, like I've never touched coke again. Thank God, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. that's a victory, man. Now I just man. smoke weed. That's a victory. And, I love you know, that so shit, bro. It's way, it's way better. Now my life is way better than it's ever been, right? bro. Hell Big ups yeah. to that. Because my mom that. used to tell me that she used to stay up like, like until five, six o'clock in the morning, dude. Because she would get, no, she would get scared by the way. She'd be worried uh, about you. The way I would sound when I was uh, uh, sleeping at night, mm-hmm. my breathing. Because she said it just didn't sound right, dude. Yeah. Like, well, you're all no doubt. Yeah, that's scary, shit. man. So you know. Dude, mamas are always gonna fucking so, yeah, be there. Yeah, we could do it, bro. Anybody but those are the things it. where shout when, out to mamas, man. No kidding. Damn. And when you're this under that, good. when you're under that roof, a lot of times you don't realize that, and then you go out on yeah. your own and see. We all just you get honest about that, and that was the only thing it ever was for me that I tried. Yeah. Well, people don't even know this about us, bro. We're yeah. like we're always fucking having jump, fun, jumping around, and fucking smoking weed. But yeah. people probably think we have the greatest lives yeah. ever nah, until they start until they hear our background stories. Dude, we've you been know? through the yeah. started changing it. Probably been through more than pop. any of our yeah. followers. I you popped know, for a little bit, but came to the yeah. greatest after that overdose that I had off oxy's. Like Ooh. four or five oxies. Oh, those little that was tens, fucked up. Those little man, blue those ones. got so We're popular. Up is that oh, those that. got man. so popular, man. They came on the scene yeah. so fast, and they got so popular that I would be in Vegas and. People were snorting yeah. them. People were doing all kinds of stuff, and yeah. I never. People used to love snorting. That's them. wild, bro. I That's took, when people really went crazy off of them because they started snorting. It became them. so it recreational that I was convinced. Up. Like one time, I took like a little piece off one, maybe a quarter of one. Within 30 minutes, I was thrown up in the Bellagio. I had to leave the poker room. Up, huh? yeah, so we barely like, made right, it right out the front door. Right after the throw up, though. Right after the throw up, that's when supposedly it hit you I so was going to say, I felt like a zombie for two days, yeah. dude. I yeah. just felt like, dead, who would bro, need to kill dead. that much pain? Those are for people that are actually in pain. And, well, I was you know, like, like you said, that has a purpose, and it's not to just play to with. Take you know, at yeah. parties, you know? That's not Well, I was hoping and praying we didn't die. Yeah, bro, I felt like I was like You guys see the new generation of how they're doing it now, bro? They're like smoking blunts, they're uh taking lean and they're doing um yeah, uh, lean's dangerous bars. too, man. Bars, bro. Hey, how they, they, Arizona, please. They snort and smoke that's pills like now, fucking, bro. Yeah, dude, that's they smoking them and yeah, snorting them, bro. Now. Like, that, they don't even take them pop them regular no more. Like that's like rare, like it's, it's wild, um, bro. The generation, man. To those it's, it's listening. Sad, it's saddening. You, know, uh, you guys need to stop that shit. Yeah, like, straight up. To those listening and shit that are indulging in that kind of shit and are having a problem, man, like, it's it's not going to help. And there's always a way out. No uh, matter how fucking... I would always tell this fool. I had so many talks with him. No I used to even have talks are, with him. <laughs> but no matter how old you are, bro, it's never too fucking late. As no, long as not. you're alive. Never. It's not. Never, man. It's never too late. So people like, that are yeah. 50, 40, 60 still trying to get their GED, dude. Mm-hmm. Hey, still man. trying to make a life for themselves. Never too late to do anything. That's exactly. it. It's not going to get you out of the bind. Whatever you're going through, talk about it with somebody, no, no, man. That's what exactly. you're saying right here, man. That's you the biggest say, relief. You got a face full of tattoos, and that's what you just... Couldn't yep. say it any better, and you're the right person to say it. And right here, I, I'm hit y'all with, with a little rhyme, man. La única cosa en este mundo que no tiene solución es la muerte. The only thing in this world that doesn't have a solution is death, is death man. Yeah. Anything that you're going through in life, I don't care. Spence, excuse me. It doesn't interest me, but you know what? You can change it. Anything that you don't like, change it in your life. You can't change it. Work to be able to change it. And change it, man. Mm-hmm. And like, I, once again, that, that rhyme. La única cosa en este mundo que no tiene solución es la muerte. Which means, once again, the only thing in this world that doesn't have a solution is death. 
Yeah. God damn, bro. You couldn't put for it being any motherfucking here. better, dude. Thank you for being here, bro. No. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, Jay. Thank y'all for having me. That was, a, that was a beautiful story, man. That yeah. was victory, hardship, you know, yeah. trials and tribulations. All, yeah. yeah, and now here you are standing here saying what you just said. And that's only a chip off the iceberg. I'll be here for, for many podcasts to come, man. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 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 man, that's dude. dope. I'm so, down with that. Yeah. God that's damn. life for you, right? That was cool. Mm-hmm. Everybody got real there for a second. Yeah, yeah. man. Life is a trip, dude. But It'll yeah. take you places. Mm. Life is beautiful, <laughs> dog. Yeah. Well, for a lot of us, the, the concept. Beautiful, fool. It's never too yeah. fucking late, homie. It's, it's that's right. It's fucking more beautiful than you could imagine, man. All this time that we have in, in, in this world, man, there's sites, there's places, there's things to do in this world no matter what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No matter how old, no matter how anything, man. Doing anything a, a, as long as you're not alone. Yeah. Don't do it alone, people. That's good. Do That's when it gets dangerous. It That's when it Energy. really gets yeah. dangerous. Energy. Trust me. I, I, I've had. I, I'm probably the most stubborn <clears throat> person in this world, <clears throat> most hard headed in this world that you could imagine. Yeah. But you know what? Don't do it alone, man. Yeah, don't. I, I, I try to do it for long enough, and you know what? Nah, I, I'm. I'm happy to be back with at least some family, and you know what I mean, my family, man. Yeah. I'm happy to be back. Always, dog. You, you already can't know do that it shit, alone. Dog. Yep, you can't I do it. I told you that shit, dog. Family <laughs> always have your back over anything. Else. No matter no, what, no. no matter what bullshit. Yeah, you give a fuck where you in. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna see. You're gonna see plenty of motherfuckers leave, but families they're gonna be here. Oh, yep. Yeah, regardless of what the fuck you do, like yep. you know. Dude, I'm happy to always. hear you talk like that, Essa. Like man, for real, dog. I finally grew up. Man, I, I finally grew up. up. That was, <laughs> you're still young though, bro. So you're good, man. But you got time. Yep, and you always you got time to make, always you know to do everything you yeah, want to do, man. Dude. Make it all possible. Mm-hmm. You never know, bro. You might be just a motivational speaker, dude. Mm-hmm. On the fucking, yeah, hell yeah. Right on the road, that's it for real, dog. Man, and that's perfectly fine with me because you know what, man? Anybody could come at me with this world. Any questions you have about this life, trust me. You I, might, I just <laughs> might have a solution for it because yeah. half of the things, man, I'm surprised I'm still here this humble. Oh, yeah. Man, thank you for fucking... Talking to us, bro. That shit was amazing, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Amazing, dude. It was electrifying. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell your mom to listen to this episode. <laughs> yeah. Just not during work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> might, she might whoop on us both. Wait a minute, though. It's about... I feel it in the air. It's a hell of electricity. Yeah, what? Put Look, up there. Is that a, is that a J in the sky? Is that Pancho Villa on the fucking Harley? Now it's time. For the news with Key. Key. Motherfucking Jay. Thank you. Just landed in like Superman Jay flew Jay in. Jay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. So, on the docket today, on the agenda today, we have, you guys want poisoning? MILF versus Cougar? Oh. Or Boy Missing? MILF versus Cougar. MILF versus Cougar? MILF? Yeah. Like Milfie? Like Ooh. a Milfie. Oh, of course. Nice. MILF versus Cougar. So, versus so, an old lady, a grandma, threw down? No, but oh, okay. you're close. No, you're not even close. Oh, okay. A Canadian woman rushed. Uh, her name is Chelsea Lockhart. Okay. Shout out, Chelsea. She's Canadian. Uh, so she rushed to save her <laughs> son after being attacked by a cougar last week. Whoa. Oh. Right? She rushed to save her son. So, uh, her, oh, yeah. from an actual cougar. An actual cougar, yeah. And was she a MILF? Yes, she was. Oh, I thought she was fighting like an older like. Yeah, that's like why. That's why I gave that like title. A, you, you Give to a little be a trick, milf. little you trick. Okay. You know. Yeah. So yeah, again, her name is Chelsea Lockhart. Her son was playing outside the family's uh, Vancouver Island home Friday. His name was Zachary. He's seven. He was on the uh, and when she when she came around, she heard a noise of the gate like of a fence being like open because they have a broken fence or whatever. So when she came around, her uh, her son was on the ground with a young cougar attached to his arm, that snuck in through uh, through the fence. So uh, the mom immediately leaped onto it and tried to pry its mouth open. She fish hooked her fingers into the uh, into the cougar's mouth, and then um, she began praying in tongues. After three sentences. Um, Jesus came down to save After three son. sentences, <laughs> the, the cougar released its jaws and ran off. She should have prayed without that hook. See what happens. The and fucking it, cougar would have ate her face off. The, boy, the, boy's, uh, the boy's all right, though. He's uh, expected to make a full recovery, and he had to get stitches for a 1.5-inch gash on his head. Damn. 
Lucky kid. How many stitches does it say? No, it doesn't say. He it says he had to get stitches for a 1.5 inch gash. Have you ever had stitches? Oh yeah. No. When you get hit by a cougar and you get has that, any of you guys have stitches kid. before? Yeah. No. I've had a no, but 23 on my forehead and like 14 on my fingers. Oh, when your brother slammed the door on you, huh? Uh, yeah, my fingers almost fell off. 14? And then 20, 21 or 23 here, I forget, man. That oh, was what? Was do, do they hurt? You can see it. Nah, man. I, could, I, was, I was scraping my skull when I was waiting for the doctor to come and stitch me up. I remember that shit. Does it hurt after they take him out? Nah. You have, to, you have to go back, right? And he plucks yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Unless they, pull well, him. Got, they no, start unless falling. They put him where they dissolve. They start falling out. Nah, yeah. this was back then. Unless your mom's yeah. Mexican, she'll just yeah. fucking kick you in the ass. I was a little ass kid. Yeah, I got mine on the chest. <laughs> Dude, it was a trip because I yep. showed up one week to get the, the stitches on my forehead. And probably like three weeks later, I rolled up to get the stitches on my finger. And they're like, what the hell's going on with this kid, Yo, I got man? those like, on my <laughs> You know what? Let's investigate his mom. I got them on my chin when I was little. Did that hurt? Huh? Do you remember? Um, probably not. No, I remember I wasn't crying. Yeah, I just like kind of bounced off, but it was all slashed up. Mm-hmm. My yeah, head. that was just gushing all blood. It's trippy, right man. Here. You and still have the scar. Got, then, like, well, I got Anchors. this on my finger too, and got all That's playing nice. basketball. Oh. Like, I oh had, yeah, I remember that shit. I had a, oh, I had screws and little metals for a while on it. Like, it still came out retarded. Look, I, the mic. I stopped going to rehab, dude. Like, I was like, fuck that, dude. I started playing basketball once they took it off, so it stayed all retarded. Like, Hey, this vato flew off a fucking <laughs> a big ass downhill. What happened that time? I, I didn't get stitches, but I did get staples going across my head. Um, that's, man, that's about equal, right? Yeah. yeah. You're just like a newer generation. Yeah. Hey, the staples I gotta say were a little bit worse because stitches, man. I heard that it just kind it, it kind of comes out like like a, I mean like a little thread with the staples. Man, it hurt because they told me I couldn't run, I couldn't jump, I couldn't do nothing. Like like after it happened. Like, while it happened, it, it was, all I knew is I wanted to go to sleep. Right, that was it, man. I just wanted to go to sleep. My mom will tell you, man. Hey, she was ambul- right there. The ambulance came and shit. <laughs> Yo. We were driving by, me and my homie Peanut and Eric. We were like, we are going to go get high at the park. He fucking split his head open. And then there was all kinds yeah, of ambulances beyond. and shit, bro. The fire department. We don't think anything of it, dude. And so I see my sister's truck, dude. I'm like, oh, I think that's Dora's truck. You love the baby blue truck, man. That and shit then this was just all like on the fucking bed of the fucking. I was, I get off like, what happened, like, dude? Yeah, I, I was, I was right there about to get taken into the ambulance, but that what had happened is I, 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 I went on my bike and I went all the way to the top of a freshly paved hill. So there's a bunch of gravel, a bunch of rocks. I lost control like right and, and I ate it. I just ate it, man. It, it was bad, but I split my head. That hit that that hill was steep, bro. Yeah. Shout out McVicker, Lake Elsinore. From Lake Elsinore <laughs> been it's getting Lake remodeled Elsinore. right now. I see Mondo really working on it. The skate Again. park construction company. Again. Uh, the skate park. Yeah, just like a couple of days ago, he's all construction time at uh, McVicker Park. I'm on. I even rode on there. I put a thing on a lot of classic times at that park. Like. Yeah. Any more stories? Oh yeah, cool. we got a couple. More. You guys want the boy missing or poisoning? Ooh. Poisoning. Yeah, let's go poisoning. Poison. 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 So ABC, it says that, a, ABC, that an engineer in Cali was arrested for allegedly trying to kill a co-worker. He poisoned her for more than a year. Whoa. Well, how did he, what the fuck? What kind of poison was he giving her? It was, uh, Fugazi? It was, uh, was it made by Fugazi? That was some Fugazi ass poison if it took a year for it to kick effect. No, but he was because he was putting a uh, cat. Ketamine? A couple of fugues. Ketamine? Ketamine. Yeah, ketamine, a silver uh, silver white metal found in the Earth's crust. Oh, that's not ketamine. C-A-D-M-I-U-M. And did the girl die? No, she didn't of die. Of course not. If you're going to poison fools. somebody, they die like the first time you poison them. So uh, when he was, he was putting it in her, uh, she had her own office, and Horrible he was putting it in her food. Her. And her drinks while she would leave, and her food and her drinks would be unattended in her office, and he'd go in there and poison her every day po- for the poison, past 18 poison. months. What's wrong poison. with people? Poison. That girl is poison. 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 man, A, B, C, B, B, D. And it says that she noticed a strange smell Do-do-do. or taste coming from her water and food, and a couple times she even brought water home, uh, water home from work, that and a couple of her siblings actually poison. drank the water. And um, yeah, they got poisoning as well too. I like to give him an F minus and poison. Nice, What's wrong with people, dude? The dude, his name, <laughs> but it was it was, a, it was a, um, epic fail. It was a Chinese dude. His name is weird. It's X U. Dude, Shoo. if I wanted to Shoo. poison Shoo. you, Shoo. 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 
If shoot. I wanted to poison yeah, you, weird. I'll just shoot. add cyanide to a bottle of Amsterdam raspberry and there's no more tamal. Where <laughs> <laughs> are you getting the cyanide? No, but, uh, <laughs> hmm. That's the hard part. The that cyanide? Hard part. You, the you can cyanide make synthetic cyanide. I was going to say, Tamal's already poisoning himself. Yeah, yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Hey, let's wait till he, tats, till he yeah. tats everybody up. Let's I'll go wait to till Spain. Wait till he tats everybody up. I'll go to Spain. <laughs> go to Spain for what? Go get up. Get the cyanide. Oh, get the, <laughs> to get up. <laughs> to get up. <laughs> I'm going to call like... Nah, fuck that airplane ride. Nine hours so this is, is actually a good airplane. one. Uh, this boy missing one. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. I enjoyed him. So it says that a teenage boy was found by police in Newport, uh, Kentucky. Says his name is Timothy Pittsvin. He's Big been Bay. he disappeared in <laughs> Illinois seven years ago. So Damn. he's been missing since the age of six. And they found him. No, no, no. He uh, he managed to escape from the two of his kidnappers. And he continued so to run across a bridge in, into Connecticut. Uh, no, Kentucky, and they not they're not telling where he stopped at, and he lo- and yeah, they called the police and police. That's good. He got him. That's good shit. But so his he's mom, back. he's back with his parents. No, no, no. His mom had died uh, a couple like because he uh, he he was taken in May of 2011, and after he was taken, shortly after he was taken, his mother was found dead in Roxford, Illinois. Yeah, how about the fucking? And they're from Aurora. The papa. Uh, it's not saying anything about his father. Yeah, no potato. It was a white bill, a, a white dude. No saying that papa. Little white kid. Sad. No potato. So now he's twelve years Patata. old. In the system. Patata. That's mm-hmm. fucked up. Papas. Timothy Pitts. This in. world can be pretty fucked up, yes. man. <laughs> it could be really. And fucked it says up. that police has n- has not released any details about possible arrest in the case. Damn, but you never know. This vato might just be the next fucking Conor McGregor. Man, I swear, I. I'd pay a god to stop helping people get jobs and all this other bullshit and start helping with that kind of shit. Right. <laughs> like, hey, right. man, let's stop this. Yeah, like, yeah. Let's stop helping with the little bullshit. Yeah. Let's get this shit going. R.I.P. Nip, man. Yeah. If we could R. find R. a job Nipsey, on it. Man. Oh, Nipsey. Nipsey. We haven't even gone into oh, the Oh, rest Nip. in peace, Nipsey. Nipsey. Nipsey, man. It just got too real in here. Yeah, bro. Nipsey Hustle yeah, got Nipsey shot. Nipsey Hustle got shot, bro. Oh. He got shot. Nah, he, hey, man, are you serious no. right now? Nipsey Hustle died too? You didn't know, bro? He died like, two days ago. Two days ago, no man. No fucking way. Hey, man, all right, uh, all right. On my side of town, we got Toker from Brownside, and he was from, I believe, 29th Street or 13th Street out in South Central. Okay. Uh, from the TKS clique, whatever the hell they went by, whatever. Ooh, 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 moving on. But, man, Toker and Nipsey is dead too? Yeah. He's dead, dog. That's all from South LA, and they yeah. all did. Yeah, he's from South LA. That's yeah. where they shot him. Yeah, yeah. It, it takes a, right in front of a store. Yeah. Right in front of his store. No, in front of his clothing what, store. Man. You have to be well thought first of to thing, be mourned by the Bloods, yeah, the Crips, Amen. every color person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, yeah but that's back home, every man. Neighborhood, hey. however it works there. Yeah, but and all the right. Everybody's first question. Everybody's first question usually is, oh, well, who do you guys get along with? Man, it don't go down like that in LA. In LA, it go down, man. It, it's who's not going at it right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what it's about. Who you man, these with. fools, yeah. ba- these fools nowadays, they be like, they, they trying to walk around anywhere and everywhere. Oh man, that's crazy though. He knew what he was doing. He well, probably yeah, knew was... that he was about to get smoked around it, around around his around his store. I I mean, I hope not, but that's, yeah, maybe that's cause, horrible. Cause that day, dude, he walked the whole. He said he just walked to. I mean, went to his store that day with yeah, no, no security, no no entourage. He just went by himself. And he that had day. just oh, tweeted yeah. that tweet. He's all your what was it? Like your best something. Your best assets are your enemies. Kind of. I, I'm I'm misquoting it, but kind Man. of saying like you need your. Oh, enemies. It's good to have strong enemies. Strong, strong enemies. You know, yeah. strong but you enemies. know what? That makes sense nowadays because the game is fucked up. Yeah. Let me tell you out of somebody's eyes that, that that's actually in the game and every. I mean, I know you guys will always look at me like like the young nephew from ever the since Bronx. I was born. <laughs> but you know what? But Sonny. Hey, hey, I I made it in the game. You know what? Being from inside the game uh, on some real level shit. The game's different. The game's weird. Fuck yeah. Everybody tells on each other for no motherfucking reason. So the little bit that say that they the real and, and, and how they say the last of the real is dead and fuck it, I'm dead too. Because that shit don't I exist under- no more. Real yeah. Nah, it's over. I understand why they say that they dead too. Man, the game's different now, man. I even got out of it. And I was the first one to, to say, hey, you know what? Anything gang related, anything that you can say from a gang. I wanted to be the best. I'm at. with it. Uh, yeah, I wanted to be the best at, and I I learned how to be the best at it. I did, man. I'm cool and all that, but still, 
<laughs> that's crazy shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, but rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. Man, that sucks. R.I.P. Nipsey, yeah, dog. Yeah, he was a representative for at least his poor people in his neck of the yeah, woods. for real. And dude. I got to say it for anybody that comes out of South L.A. Because South L.A. is a goddamn jungle. Excuse my language. <laughs> a gosh darn jungle. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Truly is. Yeah, dude. Right? And he died in South L.A., bro. He yeah. Like, he and died I'm already knowing because I, I used to fuck around over here on 106 in Wilmington. For y'all who know, that's over there, right by the Jordan Downs, man. You guys already know. I trip mm-hmm. out that it's 2019, and we still have a gang problem. And we nah, still have nah, rappers not like dying. before, though. Nah, but there's still, it's like, gangs, dude. There's still people out there shooting themselves in yeah. large amounts of numbers, though. You know, yeah. like, there's still murder capital cities. You know, people out there banging and shooting. The game might have changed, but people are dying yeah. in large amounts, though. Yeah, but now they're it's, over here dying over drugs, though. Not, exactly, not, it's not like but, before. Before it was... A gang was a group of motherfuckers that was brothers from day one. Well, put it this way. Look, man, I've, I've said it before. It's like, well, what do you think happens when you have a whole generation of drug pushers? What's the next generation going to be? I agree. I, all right. Yeah, that's when cool you got 10% everything. of the people slanging to 50% of the people, what is the next generation mm-hmm. going to be? But the difference, though, is what about <laughs> those people that do stay home instead of going to jail, though? Yeah. Well, they're a large portion of the community, but, yeah. you know. But it's also, all right, like, like from my people. I'm just saying, like, the next generation for the gangsters is the drug users are going to join the gangs. You know, the fools that are all fucked up, you know, they don't know the game as much, you know, because. What are you going to expect from them? The real fools get ratted. Nothing but failure. The real yeah, fools get what, ratted on. They go to prison. Yeah, but you know? when you have real family, I mean, the the, the, the couple of the real, all right, it's because they don't have nothing to lose no more. They're over there on the, uh, uh, mm-hmm. out there on their own like a little rug rat. Mm-hmm. I know because I was. My, my mother wasn't around. To, well, she was, but you know what I mean? When she wasn't, it was, I, I was running a month. But the difference is, uh, nowadays, no one cares to, to, to actually talk to the youngsters. And you know what? I'll talk to them because ain't none of them going to be able to tell me an excuse that I ain't trying to run down. Everybody and anybody that, that I can meet from, from my age and younger, and I know maybe, not to be cocky, but a 10-year ten, ten span, I'll be able to tell them, hey, you know what? I went through some shit like that already, man. Calm down. Do this. It'll get better. That's all it is. There's nobody around. That's all that people di- need. Yeah. Nobody will no deal guidance. with them. And I get it, cause they, they well, man, you, you isolate yourself too. Like, yep. People gotta pull themselves away completely from bullshit and drama to get completely away. If if that's what you desire, there's people out there that desire to go a, a regular route. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of them that don't. I happen to be looking like one of those worst ones that don't, but I do. Yeah. And that's all damn stereotypical because of my freaking face. If y'all see my face, you guys would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight yeah, it's up, man. Now, though, man. It has changed, but, you know, we we still have a gang problem in 2019, man. Oh, that's never going to stop. You know, yep. like, that shit is like, and I tripped out because a lot of people are like, oh, he got murdered over. That shit will uh, never be over, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's inherited. And, and, it's, no, it's in our blood. No, it, it's a it, it's a fucking ethnicity. It's in our, no, it's in our ethnicity. DNA. Ethnicity. People are drawing attention ethnicity. away from the issue. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's true. They were drawing away attention with all the conspiracy theories when the real issue is gang violence, and when yeah. then gang violence stems down to mental health. And it was yeah, the well, biggest issue right now it's in not America. Doc- it's not doctor, whatever. Nah. None of that shit, bro. No, nah, it's gang violence. No, nah, it was his own homie. Dude. Well, they said that yeah. was a CIA agent. Fucking Dr. Sabi. Sabi? Well, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, getting on that point, you know what I mean? Like, all right. Let me tell you, let, let me be one to say. Back in the days, when I was growing up, all right, maybe I'm young too, but when, when I was younger, it was still cool. That shit was cool. Mob around with all your homies that, that, that you claim to be your brothers from day one. But that was were, cool. But they're never your brothers. But I think one. it's going to be. I know, but. but it's I always think, cool. family, yes, sir. Yeah, always. that's why. It wasn't your brothers or nothing like that. It, it was doesn't your matter what circle. happens. Who's going to bail you out? Who's going to go to the hospital when exactly. you're dying? It's still the same. The, Kids are just doing this different things with their homies now, though. That's now it's just a different drug. Now yeah. it's just a yeah, different way, that's bro. That's all it is. It, it, the, the drug problem has escalated uh, and, and it went in, in a comp- it went in a downward spiral, man. Uh-oh. I, I, I'm barely getting out of it, man. And I'm going to say barely because I'm fresh out here, man. I'm fresh out here from the drama. From the drama, inside and out. In the cells and out of the cells, man. Well, now you just got one way, bro. Just butt up, homie. Just keep that attitude and that positive energy. Yeah. 
And I'm telling you, bro, one day at a time, dog. It's not about the motherfucking long, long run. Chip away. At you could fuck up today, but you could have 10 days in a row that Never are good. too late. Never too late. Always man. chip away. Never look back at your downfalls. Yep, because the past is pain. The future is now. What you going to do now to... What's going to come out of life out of you? You always got to move forward. F the BS, man. I came up with a quote. I don't know if it's stolen, but I I think I came up with it. But I said, you... you <laughs> You can't. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know where you're. That was Forrest Gump. Dude. Nah, it's like a. You can't grab hold of your future if you don't let go of the past. Exactly. Straight up. You can't be stuck in the past because if you're stuck in the past, you're thinking well, whoever you were and this, this, and that. Man, it's different hats in life. Bro. Yeah, you gotta find your medium, bro. Yeah, you know, you got all this shit. Yep. Your past, your past, you can't fix it anymore. You your could future, be a... you can't predict it really. So exactly, you gotta just live for the moment. One day at a time, yep. homie. L- leave your past as your thugging hat. You know what I mean? When you were thugging and you was wilding out, you was rowdy, you was this, you was that. Because there was there was good lessons <laughs> you know in there, man. You know, like I did learn some valuable stuff fucking or fucking up. You know. And doing all the street all shit. Oh, yeah. the homies, most you know? definitely, most definitely. And I was, but I learned them the hard way, you know. But like they say, the hard lessons are the lessons well learned, you know. And I was like, yeah, you know, I had to go to jail. I had to get turned on with some people, you know, like all kinds of go shit. On, go on an annual calendar. Yeah, you know? So I was like, damn. All right, well, I'm the one that keeps getting fucked over, and everybody else seems to just, you know, keep going. You know, <laughs> but it's not like that. Maybe I should find a way to, for myself to keep exactly, going. Exactly. Yeah. You know? It hasn't been working for them for yeah. how long? Hey, come on. Hey, it's time that us is really trying to get out the hole, get out the right. ghetto completely, and or hang your, up that hat. Hang up that your, hat. That's all I say. And work not hard a to, different face, but a different hat. Like the great Mike Tyson says, "Hard work, go find your luck." Yep. Luck's gonna come if you hard, if you work hard. It doesn't matter which avenue it comes from. It's going to come, dog, and it's just going to fucking overwhelm you to, like, the point you're going to be like, God damn, dude, now. That's where patience is. Now, this is what I've been dreaming of and thinking of and wanting to be, and it's finally here, you know? But if you don't don't work hard, you won't be ready when that opportunity comes. Ain't nothing going to happen. You got to be ready. You work hard to be ready when the opportunity comes. You're, you're, bam, you can strike. Exactly. Dr. Drake yeah. could call us right now. Come yeah. podcast for whatever. Let's Beat Studio. It. Blue, blue, here's We're this ready. contract. Yep. And We're going to be like, okay, how many shows do you want a week? That's episodes, it. Yeah, you, know, you know what, you know what I mean? mean? Yeah, like we serious about our shit. Let's go as much Let's as you can, it. man. Yeah. And that's all because we trying to get up out the hole. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody, none of us trying to stay in the hole. No. Hey, how are you with trivia? Trivia, I'm all right, man. Hey, Sudoku. I caused some damage Sudoku. with numbers. Sudoku. It's time yeah. for burpees. I can't even. Shots. Here we go. Burpees. Oh, shot. Talking about it like burpees. Oh, shot. Just a game now. Burpees. Oh, shot. Don't you see where he is? Burpees are shot. It's a multiple choice trivia game. Mm-hmm. One miss is one strike. One strike. I mean, three strikes, and you're <laughs> out. <laughs> Once you're out, you can't get back in. One steal per game. Gotta ask the steals. No steals during sudden death. <laughs> That's right. But all these over here getting excited. <laughs> and your I, host was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna play the da-na, intro. Da-na. And now the hostess <laughs> with the most is <laughs> Brody, Come on down. <laughs> I know I'm the champion, but I'm gonna give the guest the great honor to go first. So great guest. So great guess, great guess, Mr. Jr. Yes, I am, sir. How did Marie Antoinette die? Ooh, good, in great a question. horse accident. I hope you read by a lover on the battlefield during war or beheaded. I hope you read a lot of books in prison. Um, and may I may I get the, the first two repeated again? Yeah, a horse accident or stabbed by lover. I'm gonna say since it's a random one, you guys gonna hit me with the crazy one. So stabbed by a lover. That's a great fucking choice. Nope. The last one? Oh. Wrong. The last the one? one right? Head cut off? No. Yeah. Beheaded? Beheaded. beheaded. Yeah. Women used to be Marie beheaded back then. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, back then she would have make you women. macaroni and cheese. You <laughs> cut her fucking head off. Oh, yeah. said women. You she said women. You say no, and all you got to say is, she's a witch. She's a, she's a, a witch. witch. And then the she Catholic priest will come and fucking throw her in acid. She ah. was like, this was a different time. Did I ever burn her or beheaded? Hey, me, Prodi. So name the rap hit. 
rap title. Drop it like it's what? Hot. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, can I steal it? Cake. That shit was whiff. It's cake for drop a fucking. Drop it like it's hot. Hip hop fucking like aficionado like me. He's trying to get it at you. Drop it. Like Half the audience hot. didn't know that. So what fish is most likely cl- is most Ooh. closely related to the muskelung muskelungi muskelung 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 yeah, yeah. Muskelung. the pike the salmon the perch or the trout oh i look buddy i think i know <clears throat> what do you think brody it's gotta be their pike or perch bop, 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 bop. i'm gonna go with perch let's perch i was thinking the first one yeah that was the first one i should have went with that first what one. was it oh, pike yeah yeah he leads so how many candles were used to light the Hall of Mirrors in the Palace of Vers- Versailles? Versailles? Versailles. He already knows. 300, <laughs> 3,000, 333,000, or 33,000? Is this one mine? Yes. Yeah. How many candles were used to light the Hall of Mirrors That's in the of Palace of regardless. Versailles? Three hundred, three thousand, three hundred and thirty-three thousand, or thirty-three. Three hundred. I was thinking three thousand. Nope. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. That's a lot of fucking candles, man. Dang. It's gotta suck to be under the rule of a king. You ready, uh, Altiques? Uh, mm-hmm. So when did Colin Montgomery first meet Tiger Woods on the greens? Nineteen ninety-one, two thousand one, nineteen ninety-seven, or nineteen eighty-six? Two thousand one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Two thousand one. Nope, 1997. Nope. Ooh, the next I'm a, who's out? Oh, you got a strike. <laughs> Everybody has we a strike. strike. Up. I yeah. got mine right. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Nah. Oh, man. So we all I got, got away with this fucking cheating. The mod's turning right now. See if he gets a strike or not. So which egg had a great fall according to a nurse? Well, I did get mine right. I got a whiffle. Never yeah, mind. He did mine. get it right. Mine was a whiff. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty uh, Dumpty. Yeah, I had a whiff just like yours. Yeah. You got whiffed up. Wall. Mine was like fucking drop it fall. like it's hot. Oh, drop it like it's what? <laughs> <laughs> drop it like it's gone. Drop, drop it like it's gone. Drop it like it's hot. Don't smoke scone, guys. Get that so out. You ready? Um, um, you ready? Yes. Here, All day, get that out. Here we go. So what is the title of the 2013 no star Star Trek movie titled by J.J. Abrams? <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, Junior. 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 What right. what is the title of the 2013 Star Trek movie directed by J.J. Abrams? Star Trek Payload, Star Trek Into Darkness, Star Trek Trucking Through Space, or Star Trek One Step Beyond? Gosh darn it, man! I'm the dang nabbit. I'm the last person to <laughs> ask about six, Damn. five. Star Trek Payload. Star can I Trek still? ABC. Can I still? still, still. Into the dark. Hey. Can I still? Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, still, still, still. Wait, 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 wait. You're at the last second. Into the darkness. Yeah, it was into the darkness. All right, you yeah. got it right. Now you get next. Then. You got to answer right. the next one. Damn. I was like, no, not a no. Yeah, 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 I'm the last person <laughs> for the A, man. Thank you for the last, uh-huh. the, the last ladder <laughs> pass. Alrighty, so who was the director <laughs> of American Beauty? Ooh. Me. Steven Soderbergh, David Lynch, Ron Howard, or Sam Mendes? Mendesito. Who was the director of American Beauty? Steven Soderbergh, David Lynch, Ron Howard, or Sam Mendes? Let's go with the Mexican guy, Sam Mendes. Ma- Mendes. <laughs> Mendizo. You're right, Mendizo. Oh, oh Mendizo. nice. <laughs> Go with the Mexican. Uh, uh, you ready? Don't lose. I was born ready, yes, sir. Don't get ready. Stay ready. Trademarked by Joker. <laughs> <laughs> so the name of which U.S. state is the Latin word for hot oven? Nevada, California, Montana, or Vermont? We've had this one. Yeah, skip this one. <laughs> you didn't, didn't remember <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Nevada. I think didn't it was Nevada, though. It, was it Nevada? I- was it Nevada? I what remember it. it. I'm down one then. Arizona? That was your pick? Yeah, that was my pick. Oh, all right. No, it was uh, California. Oh. Damn, I would have not known that. Huh. Go for it. I'm down one. So Iceland and the UK were caught up Almost in which saved you. war? <laughs> Iceland and the UK were caught up in which war? Brody. Herring, lobster, salmon, or cod? The herring war, wasn't it? I don't know. Nope. The, cotton? the cod. The cotton. The cod or cotton word. Oh, I think you said cotton. <laughs> no, I'm down two. 
We ain't calling Pickard right. over here, son. How many hours behind Greenwich Mean Time is? How many hours behind Greenwich Mean Time is California? So what's the difference between the time in Greenwich and California? Eight, ten, twelve, or six? Eight, ten, twelve, or six? How many hours? Eight. Eight. I was gonna say Ooh. ten. That's Spain, isn't it? Yeah. It's one it's closer than that area. Spain. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Huh. Right, old Tico? I can skip. He can skip. Oh, he got skip, huh? He's slow. I'm down one. You ready? I'm down one. So which term refers to the presence of or requirement for oxygen? Ooh. Anaphyl- anaphylactic? Good luck, me. Aerobic? Microphagic? Or hermetic? The second one. Aerobic. Confident. You're right. Yeah, yeah. aerobic. Nice. Air. Yeah. Nice. Aerobic. Nice. Aerobic. Air into the lungs. Right. Helps your blood circulate. Which of these 2007 F1 drivers is not British? Not British. Not British. North British. So he does not like jam in his toast. No, no, no. Or his pancakes. So we, <laughs> so we got Jensen Button. Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, oh, a new, a new voice. or David Coulthard. Now, can I get all of those choices read back in American? Or you, you, yes, you can, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, you sir. Button, uh, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, or David Coulthard? Two, one. one. What is it? What Let's is it? go with the Mexican again, number three. Fernando, you got it right. It was Fernando. <laughs> 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 Mexicans. <laughs> He's probably Spaniard or some shit. <laughs> Close enough. Alonso. <laughs> Not really, bro. The jamón over there. Tony? I oh. know, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> so in a theater, what nickname is given to electricians? Wires, sparks, batteries, or flames? In a theater. Sparks. Sparks. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Oh, yeah, right, but dang. Down one. Sparks Johnson. Down one. <laughs> Down one. Sparks Juan. McGillicuddy. Down Juan. One. Brody. Let's go with the joke. He's down Juan. Brody, how many are you down? Two. Leticia. So what was a hit for the Archies? For the Archies? Yeah, what was a hit for the Archies? What was a hit? What were the... Brown the, sugar. Okay. Sugar, sugar. Okay. Sugar and spice. Okay. Or sugar meat. Can I steal? Sugar. Who's sugar, it on? sugar. I was thinking sugar and spice. Oh, Who's it yeah. on? Yeah. You're right. Sugar, oh. sugar. Sugar, sugar. Na, 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 na. Ooh, yeah. honey, honey. Oh, yeah. Hey, showing age, showing age, dog. He's got mine. Girl. All right, guys. Let's, let's I almost thought I said you are my on sugar spice. On I said candy girl. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> candy girl. But all these your turn. In my house. So a test yeah. developed in 1924 by R. L. Smith and G. E. Sandland at Vickers Ltd. as an alternative to the Brunel method is used to measure what? Ooh, wee. That's a fucking the tough viscosity one. of oil, the hardness of materials, radiation, a rolling resistance. I hope you would have asked Wednesday, Miko. The viscosity of oil. I was thinking right. radiation. No. No. radiation. Radiation. Nope. No. Man, no. The, the, hardness of, the hardness of materials. Oh. How many are you down, bro? I'm out, guys. I'm Ooh, out. I'm down oh. one. Oh. Down zero? Oh. Zero. I'm going to fuck you up. Let's go. I got one. That one. Give it to The earliest known example of what was built by Mika, according to Judges 17, verse 5. The earliest known example of what was built by Mika, according to Judges 17, verse 5. Royal dynasty, the courthouse, a pyramid, or the Jewish temple? Royal dynasty... The Jewish court. temple. Yeah, Jewish that's what I was temple. thinking. Though. Otherwise, I would say the courthouse. You're right, buddy. Yeah, it's the Jewish, Jewish temple. temple. The, the temps. Yeah. <laughs> Altiques. Altiques. You ready, buddy? Yeah. I'm you, you ready? That of each. So which of the national flower is Ireland? A jasmine? A daffodil? A daffodil? Yes. A marigold? A marigold? Or a shamrock? Or a shamrock. shamrock. What is shamrock? I was going to uh, I'm thinking the first one. Daffodil. Da- yeah. Pounder mouth can shamrock, you know? What it do? Was he right? Yes. Hey. Great job. 
Shamrock. Give it to uh, Shamrock Farm. Give it to uh, King J. King J. So uh, I get skipped. So, so Loch, I stole. Loch Ness is a part of which canal? Easy. Loch Ness. Yes. Yep, the monster. Glasgow. <laughs> Bristol. <laughs> Caledonian. What canal? Or Edinburgh. Ooh. The Loch Ness is a part of which canal? Mm. The Glasgow, the Bristol, the Caledonian, or the Edinburgh? I'm going to say the last one. The Edinburgh. Nice guess. Right? Nope, you're wrong. Damn. The Caledonian. Oh. That's hard. Mm. That was not a whiff. That was erected. That was erected, I would Someone. say. Mm-hmm. Might have was, been different if he seen how it was spelled. He, would have, he, he probably would have seen that it looked like the cathedral <laughs> the church or something like that and gotten it right. <laughs> I would have guessed that. Ca- cathedral. <laughs> you know, like cathedrals. Were you wrong? Yeah. Down, down one? Wrong. What am I down? Hey, what's the score? You're, You're down one. I'm down one, too? Oh, man. Or two. We can't have two. You, you missed two. Oh, man. We can't have two Juans. One more and you're out, man. You ready? Oh, man. You One go. more Juan than Juan is already enough. Here you go. Speaking of Juan, is... <laughs> in what year did Queen John of England sign the Magna Carta? 1776, 1763, 1611, or 1215? No, can I get the first two repeated again? Yes, 1776. He's actually down one. Remember, he got the Mexicans right. Or 1763. Correct. Wait, 1763, and what was the other one again? 1776. And 63. I'm going to say 76. I think it's 1215. Yeah, it was 1215, the earliest of the earliest. It was the mid-dark ages. It's down to two. Now it's down to two. All right, Tolo, you're down what, two or one? I get skipped. I'm, oh, I yeah. stole. Well, I'm out. So you ready, Milkos? Give me one. So what is the middle discipline of an Olympic triathlon? What is the middle discipline of an Olympic triathlon? Shooting, swimming, running, or cycling? I know this, Juan. What is this, Juan? What's it gonna the middle be? one. Yeah, what's the, the middle th- one's got to be swimming. 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 Well, let's get Swifty. No. Oh, it's not. It's there was cycling. Oh. We cycle. We cycle. Oh, we cycle. Oh, we cycle. Nah, but it should have been. Oh, like, I think you finished with a swim. Do you think? So you're down two? Yeah, yeah, that should have been the last one. Learning how to swim back in the hood. That makes sense. Why would you want to run miles after you swim? Oh, All right. Stupid. How many you done now? Two. Two. You ready? I'll take go. I'm down one. I hope I'm not down two. So Russell and Ron Mael were brothers in which band? Sparks, Doobie Brothers, CCR, or ZZ Top? CCR. CCR? ZZ Top? Nope. Sparks. Sparks. Damn, the Sparks. Who the hell are the Sparks? You missed energy, alcoholic beverage. (laughs) Sparkle water. Oh, I remember those. All right, Tamal, he's gunning for you. These are tough, bro. Heads up. What does a Hertz unit measure? Radioactivity, energy, pressure, or frequency? Pressure. Radioactivity. Pressure buzz pipes. Pretty sure it's frequency. It's frequency. Oh, yeah, frequency. 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 frequency? Yeah, pressure buzz pipes. Frequency radiates. (laughs) 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 Pressure buzz pipes on Uh, frequency (laughs) radiates. Down two. Just give it to me, Prodi. So, Agatha, Christine... Famously found success writing what kind of books? Agatha Christine. Yes. Melodrama. Melodrama. Detective Drama. fiction. Poetry or philosophy. <laughs> what are the options again? Melodrama. Detective fiction. She's mellow. Melodrama. What's what the melodrama? Detective, the detective fiction. Like detective fiction. Detective fiction. No, I was a detective. Oh, Damn it. One. That was like what? my second choice. She wrote and then there were none. It wasn't Talib Kweli. She read also that. wrote. Yeah. I'm down with two. You just said that because Halib Kweli, huh? Yeah, yeah I was with the melodrama fellas when I hover in my cipher. Like, <laughs> like a, a helicopter. helicopter. <laughs> yeah, we're all down <laughs> two now. Stealth bomb with Everybody. Drop or make the ghetto holla intercontinental. Mm. All right. You ready? Yeah. Which board was added to the 1984 Summer Olympic Games? <laughs> he was getting Olympic questions. Baseball. E- equestrian. Equinox. Equestrian, <laughs> golf, or synchronized swim? Which sport was added to the 1984 Summer Olympic Games? Baseball. Equestrian. I think it's either baseball or golf. And my final answer is baseball. Baseball. Synchronized swim? Nope. Synchronized swim? Synchronized. Synchronized scunt. 
Mm-hmm. I'm out. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. It's out We're all street. down to. I missed Juan too many times. <laughs> <laughs> so who's left? Um, Alto. All of us. All of us. Uh, yeah, of I think us I'm right the here. only one that's out. No, we're all me and, down too. We're, we're all, all down, down too. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. So sudden death like crazy right Not now. Really. Not crazy. Not yet. Not really. Close. Elimination Close. rounds. Elimination, Elimination rounds. rounds. So where is the famous Ipanema Beach located? Ipanema ah. Beach located. Ipanema. Ipanema. Barcelona, Cancun, Rio de Janeiro, or Panama City? Panama City. That's what I was thinking. Panama. Panocha City. Not a chance. No, nope, you were wrong. Barcelona. Out. It's Rio. It's that's in Rio, Brazil. Out. That's in Brazil. Brazil. Brazil? He's, like, <laughs> he's like that's in Brazil, Doc. <laughs> yeah, 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 Doggy. Oh, Damn it. Your turn, Doggy. Let's see, perrito. No, my turn. Yeah, this turn, this game's almost <laughs> over. Check this out. <laughs> Listo. Give it to me. The adjective Leonin refers to which animal? Leon, Leonine. Leonine. Cyanine. Sinatra. Leonine. Giraffe. Leonine. Leonine? Yeah, the adjective leonine refers to which animal? Giraffe, camel, lion, or tiger? Giraffe, camel, lion, or tiger? The adjective leonine refers I to which animal? Giraffe, camel, lion, or tiger? Five, four, I think giraffe. three, two, giraffe, lion. one. It's a tiger. That's a lion. That's a liger. It's in between. It's a lion. It was a lion. Damn. Lion. I would have went with lion all day. Lion nine? Oh, yeah. Lion nine. Cyanide. Sinatra. I didn't know that was going to be a whiff up like that. That makes too much sense. Leo. Lion. Lion. Leo. Dang. Sudden death. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Sudden death. Come on, homes. Let's do this. Sudden death. Pocos, pero locos, homie. That's my pops. You already know. I see that. Sudden death. So the falsely accused World War, I spy Matahari. Was from which country? Italy, okay. France. The, the falsely ne- accused World, World War One spy Mata Hari <laughs> was from which country? <laughs> what did Eric say? Italy, oh, okay, France. Weird shit. <laughs> he Italy said I spy or <laughs> India. <laughs> Honestly, without a without take, taking any hints, I want to say it's Five, the damn four, Frenchies. Three, two, one. Frenchies. Uh, Pick the French one. Oh damn! It was India. the Netherlands. I was. Well, I, I was going with I didn't India. Hear the, the last two. As soon as you said Frenchies, what? damn the Frenchies. Dolo, Dolo's got to get his right now. You know, damn. So yeah. which of these is not a song from the musical My Fair Lady? God Whoa. damn it. It's not a song from I could have danced all night, the rain in Spain, a man has dreams, or get me to the church on time. Fucking A. I don't know. I think it was the rain I in Spain. I could have danced all night. Come on, baby. Nope. The rain a Spain. man I'm has dreams. It, man. Church on time. You're still Go for in it. it. You're still in it. Go back to you. No, 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 no. I'll take the next. I'll take the next question. Yeah, so, of course. So here it goes. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, yeah, damn. we're not. We're not gonna skip this one. We gotta. Yeah. We gotta you gotta answer this one before you, gotta answer you get to the, before you get the next one. Well, yeah, there's no skipping. So, but yeah, r- Russian paintings of saints were known by the same name as what computer images? Mouse, icon, thumbnail, or folder? Damn. Russian paintings of saints were known by the same name as what computer image? Mouse, icon, icon. That's, That's a great gotta one. Gotta be right. Yeah. It's gotta be icon. icon. You got it right. Damn. Icon. Damn. Give it to me, Prodi. It's in the Soviet right. Russia. Vodka uh, drinks <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> so Lance Armstrong's book was, it's not about the what, beak, bike, bank, or book. Bike. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Well, it's gotta be right, I or is mean, that a trick? Okay, yeah, I mean, come on. I thought maybe Lance it was Armstrong a trick. You're back. I thought maybe You're it was back, a trick. baby boy. Like, what if it's bank? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Wait, once again, once again, once again, it, it bring back. Oh, we can't. We do pictures. No pictures. Ooh, no, 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 but uh, let me get a repeat, please. I a, have no idea what happened. Throw him a fastball, Randy. Let's go to From the left. left. That way I'm on the left already. We need one of those Randys. In which year was the gunpowder plot? Ooh. In which Ooh. year was the gunpowder gun plot? Gun. 1505, 1605, 1805, or 1705? It has something with a 15. 1505? Nope. Ooh. What? I remember it. Hold on. I still got to get this right, though. I don't though, even know win. what that means. The gunpowder plot? 1705? No, 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 but I, I, I well, recall 1605. this. 1605. 1605. Give it to me, Brody. I knew there was a five, though. Okay, I he's got to get this right, though. Still in. Damn. Marvel Comics artist Jack Kirby 
was affectionately known by which nickname? The founder, the artist, the king, or the prophet? The artist. It's got to be, the right? Yeah. Nope. nope. The, the king. king. Fuck. You. Yeah. You still in. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, we ain't in it till I don't know what, but fashion your seatbelt. Till the yeah. fat lady sings. So here we go. Here we go, JR. The shortest women's Olympic track race is 120 meters, 100 meters, 140 meters, or 160 meters. 100 meters. 100 meter dash. Yep. Nice. Meter meter dash. Dash. You got it right? Yep. Five. So Give it to one, me, bro. Which book title was a hit for Dolly Parton? Mm. Pride and Prejudice, Gone with the Wind, A Midsummer's Night Dream, or Islands in the Stream? Number three. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. A Midsummer Wait, Night's what? Dream. It's got to be the last one, right? Yep. That was the last one. Oh. Damn, you win. The others were other books. Dude. God damn, I yeah. got my ass beat. The Shout under- out to the guest. The underdog. The underdog. <coughs> Man, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, Roach Clip Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys follow us, Cannabis Cactus. Go check out the new issue Friday. Coming Indoors. soon to a theater near you. Yeah. See. Oh, it's free? Shit. Okay. Never prickly. <laughs> no, that's pretty insane. Any shout outs? Thumb out. Uh, Joker trademark. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and oh, shout shit. out to my mom's and my stepdad, man. Nice. My baby sister, too. Nice. Hopefully, she, hopefully, she finally get on her little YouTube thing, too, man. Because, you know, I, you know, you know, you guys' niece and, and her little, her little uh, tutorials and whatnot. Eileen. But that's yeah. about it, man. Those are all my shout outs. Oh, yeah. Hey man, it'll you know, be home. Shout out everybody. Make sure to keep following us, liking our posts. And if you guys got any fucking questions that you need answered, hit us up on our DM at Roach Clip Podcast, at Letter Fanatic, at King J, or on the Snapchat at Roach Clip Brody. If not, go fuck yourself, bitches. We are the Roach Clip Podcast. They even ask, know that we are high grade, homegrown Arizona. Go and check out our page. Yeah, go ahead and check out the page. Homegrown Arizona, top notch six. Remember, you are now tuned in to the one and only Roach Clip Podcast. Enjoy yourself. <laughs>